Big booty bitches. Big booty bitches. Big booty bitches. <laughs> Bitch ass titty. Shorty wanna fuck. Got deja vu now. I just been in this place before. Hi, on the streets. Uh, life update from me, Schmookin. Hi. I finally have a pure black kitten. My mom got uh, her for me for my birthday. And I have wanted for over 10 years. 10 fucking years! I think it's closer to 15. Cause. Let's see. I'm. Uh, Fuck yeah, at least 15 years, I think. Over a it's... decade. Over a decade at least. Hello, everyone. Welcome to, to Cursa Todd. Uh, fucking. What did, what, did we, what did we do last time? We were in a library. Oh, oh shit. Wishes happened. A deck of many oh. things was played. Wish you kissed oh. Vatir for 35 hours straight. You're gonna need some chapstick after that. <laughs> yeah. Re went on a mystical journey. You probably read the comment, didn't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I saw it too. <laughs> Shout out to fucking Toast King. Our, our sole comment. It, it's like it's like we're performing for an empty theater and the only person there is Toast and, and like, we'll just hear a Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Every every now and again. <laughs> I want you to know, Toast King, I would die for you. <laughs> we appreciate you, Toast King. I'll bite you. Consider this your, like, second self. Shout out. Also, yeah. Sophia will bite you. But in a good way. In a, in a friendly way. The way the cat... You know, the way the cat do when it when it doesn't want to hurt you, but it also wants to bite you, and it doesn't really... Doesn't really bear down. At least that's what Waffles does. Yeah. The play biting. Exactly. <laughs> Toast is our Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh god, just let the fucking end of that. I heard, I heard Toast King was shredded. I heard Toast King had an 8-pack. Alright, so like, where did we leave off? I can't remember if y'all decided on a quest or not. Um, I know what, I know what Hype wants to do. Yeah. They've just been doing some introspection about their archdemon heritage. Oh. Introspection's always good. I think so Vaytier's going to spend a little time maintaining the greenery around Valley Ball. Nice. And there's a lot of greenery now to maintain. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Volleyball's in a pretty good, like, pretty okay state these it days. It really is. It really is. Mm-hmm. Can't so say the bad. same for the other towns. Yeah. Lists. Listen, everywhere else sucks, but we can say that home here in Volleyball I mean, at least in Baklava, okay. too, the people are pretty okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah what Baklava. Other, what about that other town we, you know, liberated? And the other several towns that you have not visited. Shoutouts to Ulu and Olo in the top right corner. <laughs> oh woo. Oh woo. All right. Let's get into it. Uh, one moment. Let me just get on the map. Because I was doing a certain thing. Don't, don't worry about it. Go. Nope, that's the dice roller. I don't need that. There we go. All right, everyone, click your tokens and roll for casual initiative. Oh my god! Mm -hmm. One second. Twelve. Twenty. Nice. Natural twenty. Oh, yep. so twelve. And we have the same, we the same deck. I got a five. One to you. I'll go first, cozy. Sure. I think I might uh, be joining uh, my Kelly's plans today. Mm -hmm. I think I think Skull said he got a natural twenty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was gonna say let Skull go first. Yeah, so I'm just gonna bump that to actually no, because I'm a child, I'm gonna bump that up to sixty nine. <laughs> Welcome to D and D, where the casual initiative numbers don't really matter that much. Hmm. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Okay, let me get the fucking town sound. Do 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 do
do, do, do. There we go. Other than I still don't know about next week. It's okay. If you can't Those make it next week. won't let me know yet. It's, it's okay. <laughs> this is a chance I probably won't be home next week. Sorry, I had to hiss at my cat. Is they keep hissing at my baby. Mm. Luckily, Waffles is taking it okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, what you doing, Re? You 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 now have your own big old house with your big 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 wife, uh, and your child. Well, first, I'm gonna grab the Garfield phone. Nice. Yeah, Ray, okay. what's up, my gamer? I have it, Bizarre. You have what now? I got you Charizard that you've been wanting. Oh. Ray, you're not shitting me, right? No. Oh my god. It's not counterfeit, either. Ray, you don't understand. Charizard is literally the only fucking card I need to complete my set. I know. You, you hear, you hear the muffled sound of uh, a hand being put over the receiver, and very, very loud wailing and crying. Uh, and then he's like, "Okay, just, just put it, put it in Garfield's mouth, bro." I shoved it up his ass. That's my gamer. I'm so proud of you. Uh, <laughs> I. <laughs> I guess take a good boy point. I guess. Well, okay then. <laughs> for for making your patron happy, I don't know. <laughs> so congrats on the baby dog. Do you need anything? Do you need like diapers or anything or like fucking some cheetah? No, kids kids can't eat cheetahs. Wait, no, maybe. I think. I think Hydra babies can eat Cheetos. I think. My baby doesn't have teeth yet, Lazar. Uh, right, right. Sorry, my bad. Uh, fucking, do you want... Oh, what does Hydra's babies eat? Anyway, do you need anything? No. Sweet. I'm good. All right. Catch you on the flip side, gamer. Uh, and uh, he hangs up. I'm gonna see what everyone else is doing. Nice. Uh, let's see. As for your wife, uh, she is currently uh, sleeping uh, with the Hydra baby on top of her chest. Uh, it's very cute. And let's see. I don't. I don't think anything else is happening in your house. So let's go to Kelly. What you doing, Kelly? Um. Well, for one, he's at his uh, bedroom door, and he is casting a certain spell, which only takes a minute. Ooh, woo. I already know what the spell is, but go Simple. ahead. Yeah. yeah, it's got a long-ass text. Um, basically, I'm putting the fear effect on it. If uh, Basically, anyone that I have not specified that can come through um, or doesn't know the password... Uh, they don't, oh, uh, I mean, they had to make a DC 17 wisdom um, save. Thanks, wisdom. Um, I'll get back to you on that. Um, but that was like the least fucked up one is just make them run away in fear. Don't fuck with me, spell. Yeah, the, hey, don't, 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 don't wake Kelly up. Don't um, wake the birdie. Yep. Uh, which um, we've already talked about how that's yeah. going to go. And that's my 7th level spell for the day. Um, <laughs> Alright. Um, <laughs> oh please, he's a guy. He's going to do whatever the hell he wants. You know, you're right. <laughs> yeah. you. uh, just, to, just to complete the fucking... Uh, it's not a metaphor. Comparison, that's the word. Uh, just to complete the comparison, you see just a grinning set of teeth that then disappear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm 
promise it's nothing personal, Hype. I just enjoy suffering. <laughs> I have a huge smile on my face, but I know Dan's a part of this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, then I'm gonna go. I'm guessing the kids are still asleep, or are they just. Let me roll for it. Hold on. Oh. Let me let me roll for percentage of bastard. Okay. With trying to move the least that I possibly can, in order to not disturb the kitty, it did not work. Kitty is under the blanket. Nice and snugly warm. Hmm. Go. Can't believe you're going to be a part of that hive. <laughs> oh boy, I want to get a new dice tower. Let's see. That's what? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'll go the straight and narrow. <laughs> okay, definitely I mean, see sixty percent. <laughs> Let's see, sixty percent bastard. So, all right. Here's what. Ha here's what's happening with the kids. Uh, let's see. You're, you're living in the house with everyone else, uh, mm -hmm. that you built, yeah? Yeah. Okay, let me... Let's see. One. Two. Three, four. Wonderful. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll a 1d4 to see who they're harassed. Oh no, one of my dice! Oh well, it's in my room, it'll be fine. I'll never see it again, but it'll be fine. Let's see, three. That is Vatir. All right, uh, so Vatir, uh, <laughs> roll me a perception. Okay. Okay. She's just looking at plants and he's like, wait, hold on. <laughs> Waffles now has the touch. Oh, 25. Uh, you perceive, uh, Four pairs. Wait, no, four. No, four children. I'm just gonna put it like that. Four pair. Four children just staring at you. Uh, hi. You're fancy. Yes. You did. Did you kill a man to get that fancy, or is you just born that way? Um. Did not kill a man. Definitely not born this way. You're green. Are you covered in boogers? I am not covered in boogers. <laughs> are, you cov are you covered in moss? I could be. How come your ears are pointy? Because I'm an elf. What's that? Wait, I think I know what elf is. Yeah, duh. Uh, one of the one of the older kids, uh, one of the girls, is like, no, no, doy. An elf is like, <sighs> it's like, <sighs> it's. <sighs> And, and the other one chimes in. It's those things that that guy in the red suit employs. Duh. It's gonna bring us I... presents. Uh, okay, no. Those are gnomes. Ah. Oh. That call themselves elves. Oh. Why they do so, I do not know. But uh, proper elves actually, <clears throat> actually look more like me. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, I don't actually remember what the race of the children's is. Uh, so here's the thing. Because it's not actually important... Human? Maybe human. So mm. if it's... Like, this would be a very minor retcon. Like, it would change literally nothing. Uh, I think later on I am gonna roll for what the kids are. Uh, oh. but right... Hmm? Uh, do you mind if I just stay... Could also just do, um, I guess, that one spell where technically when you die, you just you can do it and they just come back as another race. Hmm. You could just roll that off that table. I mean, I could. Doesn't matter. Like, yeah, like it really, it really doesn't. Like maybe they got new bodies. Mm -hmm. Like, like I didn't specify. Yeah, you, their you didn't own specify. Personalities in there, and you, their you own just... spells. Yeah, you just wanted them to... So yeah, maybe a reincarnate spell was involved in that to like, ooh, 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 I have a great way to justify that. They came back uh, it, it... <laughs> No. Uh, we, you, already, you already have a booger child. No. Uh, <laughs> it's like, I guess like as a way for them to help like move on from that bad time in their life. Hmm. Like, 
they're still them, but they look different. I don't know. Point is, I can justify it. Yeah, it, I was just gonna say Jin's involved, so therefore some wild buckery happened. True, he was the one who gave the cards. Yep. So, so I'm sure he put a bit of stank on them. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, let's. All right, let's see. Where's my fucking thing of lots and lots of D and D races? Because using the basic ones is boring. Uh -huh. And also, there are 30 more races you could use with El Eloisius's Guide to Social Acceptance. Holy shit, nice. It, volume yeah, 1. Zero. Yeah, Zito did a lot. Oh. <laughs> There's well, a I'm potential like... of a Volume 3. Mm -hmm. Volume 2 is already in the works. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. Yeah, I need to pick it up, Phil. Yeah, I, I, I need to grab it, too. I'm going to grab it next week when I get paid. Not like Zito needs us to shout him out, but shout out to Zito for, for his... He does so much. I mean, I'm, yep. I have Cozy because of Zito. Yep. Yeah. And yeah. Shout out to Christopher Zito. Go pick up his cool D&D stuff off of DM's Guild. Everybody loves him. All right, he's let's cool see. cool guy. And he's from New York. He's a cool yeah, guy even from better. New York. Like Dan! I know you're not actually from New York, I just wow. like to mess with you. There's fighting words! <laughs> well, do it! <laughs> Bitch, I'm from the South! I want to fight for fun! Ooh, tiefling! Oh, nice. Okay, let's see. Tiefling uh, babies! I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Uh, tiefling I'm gonna, babies! Let me see. I I'm wondering if the parents were both tieflings, or if it was just... Okay, hold on a sec. I'm gonna roll one d two to see which ones. Let's see. Okay, so the the little boys are both tieflings, mm. and the little girls are. Let's see. Uh, the fuck's I get the Yankee? Oh, they're it's it's a type of space elf. Yeah, they're, Ooh. they're psychic space elves. Oh, well, that, yes. would, that, would, that wouldn't make sense if they were asking you about the elf thing, so I'm going to re-roll again. Hmm. Let's see. Well, they're not really elves, but they're basically elves. They're kind of oh. elves. But, anyway. And also, in canon lore, they were enslaved by Mind Flayers. Oh, well, for the record... Well, wait, you say canon lore, but everything's canon like, in D&D. Forgotten Realms canon. Yeah, oh. that Crystal Sphere. Uh, that crystal spear, thank you. Yeah, that world. Nice. I keep rolling for fucking things that don't fit. So you know what? I'm gonna roll later on. Point is, yeah. you know that the you know that the little boys are little demons. Fine. And that's... Anyway, uh, they keep they they keep pestering you uh, with different questions, uh, like just mundane bullshit. And oh. here is just gonna keep tending to some flowers with li little bits of magic, and shit. answering their questions. Nice. Holy shit! Okay, so I finally rolled something that I could feasibly keep, uh, and it is tiefling again. So <laughs> yay! They're they're all tieflings. I was tiefling on there twice. <laughs> hey. You like tieflings, don't you? I I guess. There's uh, different types of tieflings. Oh yeah, uh, th that would explain why there's so many. They tieflings. they they could all they could each be a different sub race of tiefling. Oh yeah, like a fire tiefling or a water and lightning tiefling or a poison tiefling or That's cool or ivory. That's fucking cool as shit. Well, yeah. point is they're tieflings, mm -hmm. uh, and that's that's very fitting for them. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Little demon children. Mm -hmm. Alright, so what do you do after that, V-Tier? Uh, we do have to... F we do have to figure out how to get the gold. And the gemstones. Maybe Kelly will have some idea. He's real smart. He knows stuff. Yes, he does. They were there when I got the gems. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's... He's also, I think he's kind of rich now, because he's got lots of shiny stuff. Oh, really now? Uh-huh. Well, isn't that just wonderful for our plants? You'd... I'm happy you'd... for him. 
idiots. You're not supposed to narc on people. Oh, I mean, he doesn't have any stuff. Well, I'm sure, I'm sure Kelly is willing to help us nonetheless. Oh. Whether or not he has a big pile of shinies. <clears throat> He's a good guy, so he probably would. Yes. Would you like to come with me to visit him? Yeah. Wait, no, no, wait. Is he awake? You're not supposed to wake him up. He says he'll get real angry. Well, uh, he just kind of looks at the sky and then looks at his pocket watch. He should be awake by now. Okay. I wonder if they have little wings. I think it'd be cute if they did. So they're hey, gonna they're, they're gonna try demon to tails. yeah they're gonna try to flutter their wings to come after you, but they're they're too small to actually fly. But... All right, I'm going to do something to help uh, help you you out. Everyone, hold hands. Two on each side of me. They form a baby chain. And I'm going to use uh, I am going to attempt to help them fly with my boots. Uh, seeing as they're, like, little tiny baby kids, uh, I'm not gonna make you roll a strength for it, because, I mean, yeah, kids are light, you can throw them. I mean, that's beside the <laughs> point. I'm just saying, it's a thought, you can. Uh, and you fly on over to Kelly's place, meanwhile... Cozy! Okay, well, seems how he's back in town again. <laughs> you. <Yeah. laughs> uh, so this is, like, the next day? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, probably would have been, uh, coming back from the greenhouse, uh, from, like, just the making more house. Wa- Yeah, pretty much. Like, making more water and everything, checking, uh, actually, probably would check on Lindsay real quick. Let's see. Uh, hmm. About what time would you say it is? That's a good question. What time would you say it is, God? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't listen. <laughs> when 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 would Cozy want to wake up on this fine American day? He only sleeps four hours a day. I mean, that's true. So I mean, it's about when, eight o'clock or whenever Lindsay would wake up. Don't make me roll a fucking D twelve. I'm gonna roll a D twelve for this. <laughs> let's see. Okay, it's noon. Okay. Uh, let's see. I think since it's noon. Uh, Lency would be finishing up his, uh, morning routine, which he does for a while. Uh, so you see him, uh, sitting cross-legged at a pond, uh, and he finishes up, does a quick stretch and a backflip, uh, backflips onto one foot, uh, and then goes, uh, to go into the house. Oh, oh, Jesus. Fuck! What's up, Cozy? I don't know why you're surprised at this point. Listen, buddy. I don't know either. It just happens, man. It's nothing personal. It's the fact that I don't really make noise when I want, do I? Yeah. Like, I think it's just because you're so full of plush. You, like, like people are usually full of bones, and, and, and some people are rocks. Yeah, like, and and then there's me. He, he, like, taps his feet on the ground, and it makes it... I mean, hey, I was full of bones at one point, but I spit that person out. I'm not gonna question that. Okay, uh, what do you need, bud? Uh, well, actually, if no one had told you yet, uh, you do know that there's, uh, that whole culty thing going on, right? Excuse me? Yeah... Do you remember the no loves? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I remember the no loves. Well, apparently yeah. these people control them. And Annie? Yeah, no, no, that's a bad. That's that's a bad. Ugh, they call them angels. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm getting the willies just hearing this shit. Okay, okay. You're telling me I chucked like a high level fireball at him and barely scathed it. All right, all right, all right. Um, okay, this is this is actually a really this is a big issue. Okay, uh, round up, round up the gang, uh, if you would please. Uh, and I need y'all to come into my conference room. Conference room, okie dokie. Ah, uh, yes. well. I suppose I can get at least one right now by thinking really hard 
<laughs> like, this does like the finger on the fingers in the temples thing. I am speaking to you from across the hall. <laughs> boop, boop. <laughs> Oh, wait, 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 well, case we need to land for a second. I'm getting a phone call. A or a book call. What's a phone? Don't worry about it. Oh, okay. And I'm just going to land with the kids in front of the blacksmith and pull up the book to Cozy's page. It just, I'm just going he's going to take like five minutes to write the word what. <laughs> with, in the utmost fanciness. Um... Yo, Dynax, you're kind of breaking up a little. Oh, sorry. My headset's kind of dying. Oh, oh no. It's okay, that happens. Oh, no! Yeah. Oh, no. All right, so... Basically, I'm, I'm I'm spending five minutes to write the word what in the ultimate level of fanciness. God damn it, it's like when the, you, 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 your friend is spending, like, you see the little dots. You see the little dots. Uh, so-and-so is typing. So-and-so is typing. And then there's a reply, K. Uh, I'm imagining this manifests in a way not too dissimilar to like the the Krabby Patty thing, where it's like ba 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 For some reason, uh, for some you got reason, it in one you... skull. <laughs> yes. For some reason, you hear the fucking Krabby Patty thing in your head as this is happening. Sup? Hey, whoever's around you, gather around everyone for the conference room at, uh, at the mayor's manor. Alright, I'll pass along the message to everybody. At, at this point, I think Kelly would have probably try, tried to find them. Oh, hi, hey. Kelly. Hello. Kelly! Uh, hey, it all can start on. running towards you. <laughs> it's a stampede! Uh, yep. I'm gonna ask you to roll a deck save not to be trampled with love. Okay. I brought Dex demon save. babies. Also, it's, apparently, Co Cozy needs us back at the mayor's manor. You are very good at dadding. Uh, yeah. You do not fall over. Uh, yes. it... <laughs> oh, I need to actually go there anyway. Uh, yes, I, I, I'll reach out to re to Rian Vish as well. Yes, oh, um, baby, and you're gonna walk babies, off a little bit with four kids. Your socks. <laughs> What was that? Uh, uh, Kelly? Um, oh, I'm gonna... Uh, just give me a moment with these kids. Just... Um, aye, aye. Yeah, and he's just going to say... Ah, um... And basically whisper to them... Ah, so... For, um... I don't really... I'm guessing you... I know I invited you into the home. Um, and I know this is a little... Forward, but um, would you like me to adopt you? <laughs> okay, so you know that fucking anime thing where, like, I'm, I'm talking 90s anime, uh, yeah. where their oh, eyes get like... super big and, like, sparkly? Uh-huh. Uh, and they all just, like, start chanting, New dead! New dead! New dead! New yeah. dead! Oh, also, um, and he's going to just whisper, also, you four can definitely open my door at any point. Um, <gasps> even with, yes, there. Okay. <laughs> they, 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 they all hug, they all hug tighter. Okay. Well, let's make that adoption thing official. Let's go to Lindsay's as well. Take a good boy point. You officially adopted the babies. Yep. Who've been trapped in a house for for centuries. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and, and I am going to start by sending to Visha. Darling. What? We have our presence has been requested at the mayor's manor. Okay, what's it about this time? Lost puppy, lost cat. I do, I, I do not know, Cozy didn't tell me, but Cozy is involved. So it's probably about the big thing. Alright. You're gonna have to give me a few minutes. Okay. 
Speaking of a few, I will kick your ass. I mean, you say that, but you haven't so far, so. (laughs) The equivalent of key smashing! Shut up, Badger. And I flip to Ree's page. Nice. Ree? Skull, are you there? Oh no! No! no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh god bless. Bree, I swear to the gods, if you send me more uh, uh, memes of that one lady. God damn it! God damn it! Fucking Lazar would show him fucking Resident Evil shit. No, you don't understand, dude. 5,000 ton booty. God, he fucking would. He has yeah. a fucking D- Dimitrescu body pillow. And it's in the transformed state. <laughs> it is! <laughs> you flip it over and it's that. Yep. Ree, we are present. Rested at the mad manner. Hmm. I'm going to consider the smiley face as a reply. <laughs> you don't know how he's he's thinking these things, and like it, it Ree's mind is an enigma. Cute small gif of milk falling over. I <laughs> damn it! What a SpongeBob tonight? <laughs> yeah. Why a SpongeBob? I don't know. It's a spongy mood. Mm. Skull is typing. Skull is typing. For anyone who's actually listening to this and not watching it, you might want to tab back just to see the things that uh, Rhea's been sending. Uh, and that that that's basically it that's going on visually. Yeah. In the text it might chat. be one of the last things you do, Ree. <laughs> you will die. Anyone else hear a cow? Well, I, I just realized that. I just realized that there's fucking cows in this audio, but there's no cows in the town right now. It's just one dude. I apparently need to refresh. Cows for now. It's just a for dude now. just sitting here going, Moo, I'm filling in. <laughs> He's in a cow suit. He's never seen a cow in his life, but he saw it in a dream once. Like moo and stuff. Yeah. Are you also Skull? Uh, can you actually uh, speak? Are you there? Yes, I can. Okay, I'm just, I just doing wanted... it for flavor. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to be absolutely sure. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, well, all, all, you're right. getting, all you're getting from him is memes. Right. Just get your metallic tookers to the mayor's office, please. Thank you. And that should be everyone. One second, I want to see. God! <laughs> Wait, actually, I've got a message, Cozy. Do we need Hero and Ross as well? Uh, it's probably a good idea to keep everyone informed. Uh, Alright, uh, Kelly, could you grab Hera? Uh, right, yeah, yeah. No. Tell her there's a big hey, meeting. Hera, uh, we need. Mara needs you. Yeah, I, f- I figured it. Uh, I've just been kind of eavesdropping, which is kind of easy to do when you're uh, standing right outside my shop. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Hera. <laughs> She's at the window. Yeah. Hey, important question. Do you happen to have any pure gold? Eh, I wish. We went over this. Uh, right, duly noted. We'll have to get some from out of plane. 
<laughs> you. Yeah. I wouldn't make it that some. easy. Hmm. It's a fucking god killing sword. I can't make it that easy. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Right. How are you, and how how would you feel about traveling again? I mean, I'm always up for travel. All right. Well, I'll let you know when. Thank you. Yeah. Also, just to let you know, Kelly still hasn't let go of the kids. Oh, he's just covered in kids. Yep. He's like a jungle gym, a bird mm -hmm. jungle gym. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking of big tall, what you doing, Vesha? Well, Vesha was exercising. Um, she's basically in a sort of like, um, <laughs> like one of those small tank tops that's meant for fitness, like a. Like a sports bra kind of thing. Ooh, like the yeah. Wii Fit trainer. Yeah. And she's got the, the yoga shorts on, and she was basically beating the shit out of a sandbag when Vatir called her. So she wipes her brow after finishing sort of her set. Kind of cracks her knuckles a bit and looks down at them. They kind of chafe, and she kind of shakes her hand a bit. <laughs> she's going to throw a cape on and then snap her fingers, and her armor is going to just appear over her exercise outfit. You're welcome, anyone who's listening to this. <laughs> she had some things to worry about, but she was going to worry about them later after the meeting. So she's gonna double-check, make sure everything at the cathedral is okay, if there's no outstanding problems or issues. I think she would probably check on the status of the actual regiment and see how they're coming along. Let's see. I'm, I'm kind of... You know what? I think it could be funny if they're bad. So I'm going to roll a percentile dice uh, to see how well they're doing. Oof. Oh, that's a 40%. Oof. Okay. Uh, so you... <laughs> You know the Jurassic Park theme and it's on kazoo? Huh? That that's the best way to describe their formation right now. Like, I mean, they're they're trying, but they're very bad. They're like tumbling over each other, stumbling around. One of them, someone is literally stuck in the dirt. Like like their body is buried in the dirt. You do not know how they got there and you do not know how they will get out. And it's 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 kind of pathetic. She's going to sort of face palm against their visor, looking at this. Normally they would take time, maybe about an hour or so, just to discipline and try to teach him things, but she's got important things to do. So she's going to cut sort of into her hand with a ritual dagger, uh, splatter some blood onto the ground, and use infernal calling. Let's see. No, that's that's very long. Can you summarize it for me? Infernal calling is basically the highest tier of demonic summoning. Ooh! It allows me uh to summon a demon of challenge rating. Let's see here. <clears throat> it's a demon from the Nine Hells with a challenge rating of... Eight. Nice. Okay, I was a demon of discipline. Uh, so okay. probably something that can teach military formations. I imagine she probably learned of a few during her time in the cathedral. Uh, let's see. All right, let me let me roll for. I mean, you already set the. You already told me the personality you want. But, uh, I'm just gonna roll for. Let's see, one, two, three, and then four through six. All right. Uh, you get a very ripped fucking, like, like, fucking eight packs, big, big tibbies, uh, and giant fucking ram's horns, uh, and they, they, uh, they salute you. Alright, I have things to do. Can you please run over formations with these people? And hut! Uh, starts yelling, uh, at the people. Uh, and they instinctively fall in line. All right, you filthy, worthless maggots. I'm going to whip you into shape, or by God, my name isn't Jameson. Jameson. Jameson, Jameson. Jameson, Jameson the third. I was just saying, it just says it in a bit when it hurts. 
<laughs> God damn it, the fucking ring fit. I'll be back in an indiscernible amount of time. Please make sure that they can properly form up. Thank you. Can do, Colonel! Uh, and uh, just starts marching around the uh, cathedral. Come on, get your asses in here! Uh, and they follow behind. Very pathetic, but yeah. they're, they're they're doing their best. Let that sorted out for the time being. Visha is going to go to the mayor's office. She's just quietly adjusting sort of straps and bits on her armor, trying to make sure everything's in its right spots. Nice. All right. Uh, I assume everyone has met up at this point. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> god damn it, Skull! I specifically, specifically, god damn it. Okay, uh, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> all right. Uh, you are all in the conference room, and uh, Lindsay closes the door. All right. So uh, I kind of just figured, you know, this would be a more professional setting. Like I know we're all friends, but you know, this is serious business, and uh, oh I yeah, I got to probably least clarify. I called in Ross and. Hello on the way. Nice. They're also there. The kids are being babysat by Gregory, uh, who is currently being terrorized. Uh, it's great. <laughs> anyway. Uh, okay, so uh, Cozy has informed me that there is apparently something involving a cult uh, and the Nullovs. Yes, oh, I boy. thought this was it. Okay. Uh, important question. Uh, do... Any of you feel like they will be heading towards this town specifically? Like, what do you think their goal is at this point? You you mentioned that they can be controlled. What What's their deal? I imagine their end goal is nothing short of the complete obliteration of non-believers. And non-believers. <clears throat> and surprisingly. <laughs> Those two people at uh, once. Ooh. You know, it's a, it's a shame. It's a shame. We could really use the help against that bastard, but uh, I don't think I want uh, some genocide maniacs on our side. No. Yeah, really you? don't. Definitely yeah. not. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Um, There's a possibility I'll... that... Due to... Uh, uh, hold on, let's Go roll ahead. a... Go ahead, Kelly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, also, I kind of completely ruined most of their religion, possibly caused a few holy wars and schisms within their whole thing, but making them only be able to pray to their god in Abyssal. Nice. Because of a wish that I got from that deck. That's fucking metal, my dude. Yes. Oh, also we killed two of their followers that were here like, demonstrating their superiority, and he does a little like, very indignant, like, flare. <laughs> it's yeah. basically the Spongebob mocking meme. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and just like, yes, um, killed, Visha killed one and stole its soul, and I just killed the other. Um, magic missile's quite easy, because those, uh, little, um, because the Nolos were protecting it. Protecting them. That's bad. Yeah. That's too bad. So I decided, well, <clears throat> can't miss. Nice. Mm -hmm. mm. Kelly. Hmm. These two people were servants of uh, the cult of the ever... Everlasting lamb. Everlasting something lamb. There was a word in the middle I forgot. Bleeding? Bleeding lamb, that's the one. Oh, it's burning now. Yes, hey. Victor. This town isn't prepared for a whole invasion. Without a doubt, their god has probably already told them where we're residing, and they're probably coming specifically for you, Kelly. Yes. Which is why we have some en e extra planar hopping to do. Hmm. Our goal is to kill the god Joshua. Uh, well, also here, and he flips a ruby over to, to, uh, Bart here. Oh, perfect. 
Yes, this will be perfect for the god-killing sword we're going to make. Okay. Um... I would just need golden livestock. Yes. Livestock! Yeah, I also need to get that temple. Uh, livestock for yeah. the town. Ah, that makes more sense. Mm-hmm. Um, anyone else need any more gems? So, for spell components or anything? I'm alright, I have my sources. Okay. I pretty much just baked my spell, so I'm good. Fair enough. I, I'm good. Man, you guys really, you you do not stay out of trouble, do you? Nope. Hey. Uh, everyone look. needs a hobby, okay? <laughs> look, when, look. When somebody tries to prove their superior and trying to say, oh, blah blah blah, my god's dick is so big and huge. I really, really take offense. Uh, I so. really, really thought it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I you love know. him so much. Mm -hmm. ah. You're not wrong, it's hysterical. Yes, and that would also mean that's weakening Joshua's power. Because that would cause quite a bit of... Mm dissonance in the religion. Quite. Mm -hmm. Since faith is power, faith breaks. Gods don't have as much power. <laughs> so, basically, we're going to go to... So, basically, plan of action right now is go to another dimension to collect a few bars of pure gold, and mm. then take a Hera and... <clears throat> Ross to the Royal Library of Enfear in the Feywild hmm. to to make the, to ease the forging of said god killing sword. Uh, well, I believe you won't really need me for that. I'm going to be taking care of another thing. Oh. Yes, I, I'm going to those ruins. Might be something of use there. That's probably a good idea, actually. Mm hmm. Yes. Go into the ruins, are you? Yes. You might need a guide. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yes. Um. Oh, also, Lindsay, um, I need some adoption forms. Uh, cool. Yeah. Uh, shit, I don't think we actually have... Uh, it's cool. I, I can... Uh, I got a napkin somewhere. Vatier just pulls out a sheet of paper from his book. Here. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless. Seriously. What? I mean, we don't really have that many adoptions these days. I mean, is it really a surprise? Well, also. Yes, but still. Paper. We have trees now. We can make paper. Oh, man. I need to. Actually. Okay. Uh, he, he makes a note. Alright, just, just gonna put that in the budget. Just gonna. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, um, all right, cool. Yes. Um, any other jobs that you need, Lindsay? Mm, I mean, there's always something to do. You can check the quest board. Uh, well, I, I can't remember. Person. Any specific I, recommendations? I mean, I honestly can't remember. I can't remember what I put on there. I'm going to be real with you. I, I kind of... I try to keep it updated regularly. That is fair. Mm. And go have a look at that later. Yes. Um, <laughs> oh, also, Bartia, well, if, if whatever dimension you go to has any good teachers, please send them here. Can do. I'm mm. not sure there will be inhabitants. Mm. But maybe. I don't know. <laughs> uh, we, we, we'll see. I'm thinking the elemental plane of Earth, probably, but... The livestock, though. But yes, the livestock would probably have to come from the beast lands. Mm -hmm. or, the, or, or the farm or, dimension. Or the farm dimension. I did hear some... I did read something about that a bit ago. Yes. Just okay. Ohio. Mm. It's all Ohio. The great farm dimension of Ohio. <laughs> what the fuck is in Ohio? No uh, one knows! <laughs> I'm, 
I have read. I too. heard that there's fun times there in a place called Cleveland. No. <laughs> fun times in Cleveland no. again. Cleveland. I, apparently, the rivers burn. <laughs> the Cleveland Commission. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah. Please don't ever go to the Cleveland Dimension. The the newest, the newest Magic: The Gathering supplement for D and D, Plane Shift Cleveland. Mm. <laughs> uh, oh. Anyway, so oh, uh, also, um, could you? Well, let's see. Can I ask a favor? Uh, yeah, anything, bud. Uh, could you all look after? Could you all look after my kids for a little bit while I'm off? Uh, uh, sure. Yeah. I I'm can gonna. Do that. I'm gonna incite that. Yeah, buddy. I'm also gonna incite that. Yeah, buddy. Let me see. How good is Lindsay's poker face? Let me. Let's what, see. What's deception stat? Uh, let's see what your deception stat is, bud. What's your what's your poker face, bud? <laughs> I have a plus seven in insight. I don't think you're getting past that. Twenty five. <laughs> Natural one. <laughs> <laughs> he practically looks. God damn it! He practically looks like the crying cat meme. Uh, like. <laughs> The thought, God, it, it, he's clearly upset, but he he will take on this task. Like as in, like he's happy. No, no. As in, he's <laughs> upset. It... Oh, uh, sorry. It what? Is, it... It, you're you're tearing up. Yeah. Oh, uh, wrong allergies. You know, sometimes. Things. If you have something else you need to do, I'm sure we could find someone else to do the babysitting. Yes. Oh no, I don't have, I don't have anything else to do. Um, it's fine. Let's see. <laughs> uh, don't don't worry about it. I am going Lancy. to, I am going to go, and I'm going to leave the room right now, and I'm gonna go do things, and I'm gonna keep talking until I leave the room, so you can't stop Lancy. me. Bye. And he's gonna close the door. And I cast hold person. No, I don't have right. hold person. He's already out the door, and he's plat plat platting away. <laughs> you people are awful. What? What can I do? You don't just spring that on somebody when the world is at stake. Uh, yeah. Uh, Ross, would you jelly? like the children? What? I'm sure Nathaniel. Jelly? Would you... What? <laughs> Do you want Ross or do you want Stacy? Ross? I mean. Ah! <laughs> oh, that poor yes. man! New playmates. Uh, <laughs> yes. More children. <laughs> He's gonna wilt! <laughs> okay. My, okay, my heart swells with joy. <laughs> A little new to all of us. You people no kidding. Listen, if you want a babysitter, I know a person. I, is it a demon? a demon babysitter? It's a demon. I know. There are, there are tieflings. <laughs> I mean, you know what? Sure. Sure, Visha. What? They're tieflings, aren't they? Yes. So technically, they're half demon already. Mm -hmm. You just see, like... If there was an anime, it would be an anime sweat drop. <laughs> I know this great demon named Gregory. Wait. Gregory. Hold on. How's Gregory going to react to that? What? They're large. They're ripped. They have an eight pack. Is it the fucking, is it the fucking ring fit demon? It's the ring fit demon. God damn it, no, I'm not gonna put the ring fit demon. <laughs> I'm not gonna put the ring fit demon in my ZZK! Why <laughs> well, you already what? did? I didn't! No! It wasn't the ring fit demon! 
He's Christ. red. Okay, so here's the thing. I can make a knockoff ring fit demon, and you I know mean- the reason and you know the reason this isn't gonna give me anxiety is because fucking fucking Disney makes blue Mike Wazowski and wants to call it a different character. So I yeah. Know, technically Shimu, you already did make a knockoff ring fit demon. When? When? I was just gonna dump him next to the fitness instructor and see what happened. I mean, that's not- that wasn't the Ring Fit Demon, that was, uh, like, he had an 8-pack like the Ring Fit Demon, but he looks different than the Ring Fit Demon. One, he's taller. Two, his ass isn't as sweaty. Four, he- he has, like, larger horns. No, Five. question. Yo. Is one babysitter that's really strong better than 50 babysitters that are just really weak? This one. <laughs> Oh, please, I am begging you. Please have Ree suggest this. Let's have Lazar babysit. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Risha. What? Uh, I'll take you up on that. I'm good. Let me know when. I think we're about to leave. Alright, then. Where are the kids? I already called Lazar. He's on his way. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> uh, you hear, you hear a knock at the door. Just kidding. I don't have to use doors. I uh, phases through the door. So, up. I imagine Blizzard does the thing where it's like that that one bomb disposal robot tries to open the door. He just tears through it. Yeah. Uh, don't worry. I'll fix that. And he snaps his fingers, and it's back in place. So, up. No weed. Uh, listen. I'm- Listen, it's fine. I won't give him weed because, fun fact, weed is less severe after you turn 25. But before the age of 25, it is bad for you. Therefore, those under the age of 25 should not have weed. That's just a fun fact from your old pal Lazar. Also, you should never have the uh, man-made, like the artificial made. Oh no, no, I got the good shit. But I will not share it with the children because Mm -hmm. that's bad for them. Yeah, no, actually, the artificial, actually, the artificial stuff can kill you. Oh my god! Yes. Y- sometimes mortals scare me, but that's that's beside the point. All right, fuck yeah! Uh, he he claps his hands, uh, and a fanny pack, uh, filled with several babysitting supplies appears, uh, as well as a world's okayest babysitter shirt, uh, Crocs with socks, uh, oh. and cargo shorts. I'm ready to babysit. Hell yeah. And I am appalled by your fashion sense. Bisha, would you like to accompany me out on the plane hopping journey? Do I have a choice? Yes. I do need to talk with someone. When are we leaving? Uh, now-ish. Aye, 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 aye. Alright. <clears throat> Kelly's gonna bend down because he's like, that's kind of why I wanted the fancy because he He's actually quite responsible. Uh, have we met the same Lindsay? Have you met most of the people in the town? I mean, I would have suggested Stacy. Mm. Yes, but new one. Uh, you know what? Never mind. But... Lazar, Lazar is already out the door. The vision. Uh, so... And you can hear the sound of the children and him screaming. It's not a horrified screaming, it's a screaming of... Imagine that an adult has just given children of firecrackers, uh, and that is the kind of elated screaming that is happening. Oh boy, we should get out of here before somebody starts a fire. Mm. Alright, you three have fun with your individual quests and tales. You can reach me by the book. If you need us. And he will hook his arm around Vicious very publicly and very showily. And... Whoop, wrong button. I meant to press this button. It's up here. Nice. You have plain shift head. After you played the music of SCORING! (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. Alright. Kelly. 
your children are taken care of. They're mm -hmm. in the capable hands <laughs> of Lazar. What you gonna do now? Okay, so, um, should we just go straight to the ruins, or should we go see? Yeah, Ooh. no, let's, let's just go. Okay. I'm All going right. to apologize to Lindsay after this. Yeah. All right, let's see. All right, let's see. Which, uh, which, which quest was this specifically? Oh, the ruins one. Yeah, it's the one where it's like, hey... Go explore the ruins to find all the shit so we can make a school or something. Nice. How did you re remember that word for word? Because I'm looking at it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this amazing skill called reading. God damn, I wouldn't know. I'm from Alabama. All right. <laughs> Let's go. So is Re accompanying Cozy and Kelly on that mission? or? Yeah, where's Re going? What I'm going. Doing? No, where, oh, where are you? Oh, nice. Boys night. All right, let's see. We're going to get that in two groups. Uh, let's see. Actually, no, I'm going to keep the I'm going to keep the initiative order. All right. Uh, let me think. Uh, you don't really have any information on the ruins. You just know that that is a quest you can do. So you would have to find Lency for more uh info on that. Hmm. Oh, we gotta go find him, and I guess that apology is coming sooner rather Wait, than later. Would I would I have an uh like an uh, idea of where the ruins are though? Roll a history with advantage because I mean you have been here a very long time. That's what I was saying. Like he'd probably need a guide. My history's pretty good. A nat twenty. Nice. Okay, ah. you know exactly where these fuckers are. All mm -hmm. right. Uh, they are underground. They've been long since buried, uh, as has most of Baklava's history over the years of, you know, bullshit. <laughs> let's see. Let me, let me get y'all to the... There we go. There we go, and I'm gonna... I'm gonna say... Let's see. I'm gonna circle right here. So, so it's pretty close. Pretty close by. Hmm. Well, oh, well. Okay. It's a good thing for you that I learned some new tricks to help in excavation. Ah, thank you. I very much appreciate it. I don't really have any abilities to help you, unfortunately. Um. <laughs> friendship. By the power of friendship, you have a big beak. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh. yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Do, 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 do. Anyway, do, do. march on! Yep. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Awesome. All right. Uh, are you going by foot or are you going to... Uh, I think their name was Peaches. Are you going to take your hired uh, centaur Peaches with you? Oh, we might need the, uh, a wagon, so yeah. Yeah. Nice. All right. Uh, you find Peaches. Uh, they're munching on some apples just to, you know, have some fun centaur racism. Uh, <laughs> and... Fun it's and fine. racism in the same sentence, huh? Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> I'll do, well, I'll you are from Alabama. So. <laughs> yeah, I am from Alabama. <laughs> 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 on, a on a serious note, D&D has had a horrible history of ra race coding certain things and is not good. Anyway, but... Okay. They're trying to get better. They are trying to get better. All right. <laughs> uh, Apples. <laughs> Apples. I think this. I think this sounded like this or something. Yeah. Nice. All right, we're going on an adventure. I yeah. love adventures. Let's go. I'm just gonna get this apple pie right quick. Awesome. Mm -hmm. As far as I know, centaurs aren't race coded for anything. Let's hope not. All right. Uh, and you hop in the wagon. Uh, and yeehaw! It's time to get on the road. 
Uh, let me roll for... Let's see. Do you want to RP on the way, or do you just want to get there? On the road again. Um... Uh, it's a, kind of a short trip, so... Yeah, it's like... Literally like, oh yeah, I forgot to... Yeah, I'm gonna have to fabricate some iron later, but right now we got some other stuff. Nice. Yeah. Alright. Uh, we will do that in a second. All right, Vatir, which plane are you shifting to? Uh, are you going to the farming plane, the uh, earth plane? Like, where are you going? I'm going to try and plane. You are cutting out so bad. You're going to need to, I think, rejoin the call? Buddy? Your I'm pretty set. sure it's his headset. It's your headset. Oh, no. Is ah, this where there, is. Headset? there you are. My headset keeps kicking out. Did, uh, did you order a new one? I have not yet. I'll have to wait until next week. Oh no! I will hold. I get paid here. on Thursday. It'll be oh. fine. Okay, hold good. off on that, darling. Oh. <laughs> I'm not gonna pay you. I just hold off on it. For wireless or wired? I... Wireless. Okay. HyperX <laughs> brand. You say you say this like you're being subtle, darling. No, I'm not being obvious. Go ahead, ignore me. Get back to work. Oh, Lord. All right. Uh, so, so, yeah, elemental plane of Earth. A nice. city, if, if one exists. Okay, let me think. I'm going to roll a 1d100 to see how city-fied this uh, plane is. Let's see. 57... Okay, so, uh, it's 50-50. All right, nice. Uh, let me go on Pexels.com, my wonderful source for uh, attribution-free public domain images. Let's see. There are... Rocky... Road? Earth. Road. Rocky Road. Take me home. Ooh, that's a lot of it. Please. What? Please. What? You know what? I really don't. <laughs> Sorry. I failed you. I failed you, my meme brother. Cleveland. <laughs> Listen, I can't. I. <laughs> Baklava and Cleveland don't even have the same number of syllables. How would I make that work? It's Cleveland, you can make it work. How would I make it work? But Cleveland... It's not the same number of syllables. Yeah, it, it won't sound good. Like, like I'd have to Baklava. force... It, it, it doesn't sound good. Like, there's no way to make it sound good. You just need to put it to right. song. Fun times in... I, listen, you don't understand. You don't. You don't understand. I have tried. I have tried different sounds in my head, different configurations of syllables to try to make it make sense. The only one that has ever worked or come close to working is from a fucking My Little Pony parody of the Cleveland Tourism video. Do I want that on my conscience? No. no. I'm already cringe. I'm, I'm cringe enough. Oh, now your headset. <laughs> I am cringe enough anymore, and I get I get shot. You you went so you went so cringe. Your mic quality went crusty. <laughs> the timing on that was too hilarious. It was. Yeah. Lucky two, the master of comedy. All right. Well, that image is uploading. Uh, let's see. Well, I can't do anything until the image starts uploading. So, I will just describe uh, what you plane shift into. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to I'm trying to determine whether you would de like actually get into a city. Uh, yeah, I, th I think it's more interesting if you do plane shift a city. Uh, I think your microphone entirely died, Chimogen.
And there she goes. Heck. There she goes. Whoa. Hey. There, there you are. Ah, oh, thank God. All so right. You said we're landing in a city. About five. Of Okay, so like it's like it's like our mics take turns. I go crusty, then you go crusty. Crusty the clown. Ugh. That didn't have anything to do with anything, but I just felt like, yeah. Alright. So the city before you is pretty advanced. It, it's like it's beyond what you're used to. And uh I'd say you're around steampunk era ish. Yeah. I mean, I know, I know that's not a real life era, but you know, whatever. Um, In a world of magic, it is. Oh well, yeah. Let's see. Desert city. What does that sound like? Oh my god, that's perfect. Oh my god, that's the perfect important, music. Important question: Is this city underground? No, it is not. Uh, you see oh. above you on the surface of the elemental plane of Earth. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. You see a beautiful city before you. All of the buildings are made of rocks stacked up in different formations. It's it's not just like stacked rocks. They there is clear architectural purpose in this. Like and it it's frankly <laughs> it's so beautiful. Like it, it it blows your mind. In the distance I you see my. Oh yeah. Uh, in the distance, you see beautiful, towering, rocky mountains uh, that are swirling with dust clouds that, despite being made clearly of sand, are still floating, like, almost ephemerally. It's beautiful. And uh, the people there, for the most part, are made of rocks themselves. I mean... You've seen rock giants. You've you've seen yeah. creatures made of rock before, Galabders. Like everyone. I would here... imagine that a good portion of the population is also Earth Ganassi. Oh yes, lots of Earth Ganassis and gems, like gem people. Not like fucking Steven Universe, but actual like their their entire body is made of gems. And you know, oh, I have a rate for that. Nice. Uh, and you notice that a couple of gem people are more cut than others. Like, you have you have the standard, like, gems that you get out of the ground purely just, you know, in their raw, natural, beautiful state. Uh, yeah. And then you have the uh, gems that have been purposefully cut into different, like, shapes and facets and such. Uh, and it, it it's all walks of life. All of them as like unique and varied as the plane that you come from but made of rocks and the sky is a beautiful amber hue it kind of it, it's the color of alabama clay but it is clearly sky like it's it's not it's not rock it is sky uh and you see like stone dragons flying above it's it's breathtaking well, this is definitely an interesting first stop. This place is hard on the eyes. Yeah, it is a bit. It is a little bit brown, but it's a good type of brown, you know. Well, it's different shades of brown. Like, uh, it's ever. It runs the gamut from sandstone to again, like deep, deep brown clay. Like, with, it, with a little bit of gray in there for for extra fun. Oh yeah, like. But it's not just that. Like, it's, and plus, it's plus, like, there are stones that aren't brown. Oh yeah, like there's there's beautiful earthy tones, but there's also like houses decorated with geodes, shops with gems encrusted in the doors. Like, there is a lot of love and care put into the architecture here. I'm gonna stop a random stranger. Yeah, too. Excuse this... me. Okay. <laughs> uh, yes, Vesha. I'm just going to say that if anyone here in this plane tells me that this entire plane rocks, I'm going to stab them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the person's like, no, that's just something we tell tourists so we can say <sighs> it hurt. That's really... Yeah, I no, was going to no. say it's the coldest. <laughs> oh, will you shut... Sh shut up, Rocky. Eh, anyway. <laughs> Rocky. I don't get it. Uh, it's fun. 
I don't get it. Any homes. <clears throat> Anyhow, uh, what, what's up? You, you guys want to? You want me to show you to the gift shop or whatever? I mean, we we no, got. No, actually, the... we're huh? we're actually here to go to market. Market. Uh, we'll, okay. We'll, we'll possibly a mining consumption or something. We are in. We are in the market for incredibly pure gold. Ooh. Ooh, that's the. That is the really good stuff. Uh, yes. I want to I want to be real with you. That's going to be a bit hard to find. It's like, yeah, you can you you can find it and you can barter for it, but that that is that is one of the rarer metals here, my friend. Yes, I imagine it's going to be expensive. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. And the thing is, uh I don't I'm guessing you guys have never been here before. Nope. Literally just plain shifted here for the first time. Yeah. Seconds ago. So, here's the thing. With more modern tourists, uh, your money doesn't translate well here. What's the local currency? Uh, and, uh, they pull out... <laughs> they pull out a bag of marbles. Uh, but it's not like the marbles on, on, uh, the material plane. Uh, oh. it is... It is clearly made of some sort of material that you've never seen before like it's clearly made of some sort of gem or earth or something but it it must be it must be a local thing like it must be purely on this plane of existence because you've never seen something like this before some kind oh. of alloy eh, i guess eh, i don't know i just keep money do you know what your money's made out of <laughs> uh, uh, extremely crummy gold, honestly. Uh, how much do you know about the material plane? Uh, hold on, I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll a history for this random person. That's a three. Uh, I mean, I know it exists. Have you heard of a place called Baklava? <laughs> no. Uh, just, just take our word for it. It's really not worth the trip. Uh, so it's uh, like a diamond in the rough. Hey, God, God damn it, Jasper! All right. Uh, also, I think I think you cut out completely. Uh, yeah. Here. Yeah, there you are. So as I was saying, did you take take it from me? The place is shit. I can literally not leave without plane shift until this source of this otherworldly mist is destroyed. Ugh. I don't know what a mist is, but that sounds awful. Like That's... the stuff on the top of that mountain, but made of water. Ugh. Oh, oh, water. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ugh. Yeah. An important that... question. Are there any places around in need of mercenaries or similar contract work? I mean... Adventurers, basically. I mean, I gotta imagine, so... the. The, up, the 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 upper people in this place, you know, they're they're always looking to off their competition and whatnot. Eh. Oh, I mean, good. I'm pretty good at killing things. Uh, we'll that, see. We'll see what we can do in that regard. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, I guess. Uh, kind of, kind of uncomfortable with that. Okay, I'm gonna. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not the killing thing. Yeah. I, I try to steer clear of that. I mean. People, people are people, man. All yeah. right. We tend um, to be sentimental. <laughs> Slate, I'm going to kick <laughs> your rock ass. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I need some sand. <laughs> they're, gonna go right. to, they're gonna go to a sand bar. Ah. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, so. Yeah, that that's the information you've managed to get out of the the local life. What you what you gonna do? You know, as long as we're making shitty puns around here, do you think criminals are punished by stoning? God fucking damn it! God damn it! That'd be that'd be weird. That'd be like throwing human body parts at a human. Uh, let's let's find this mining. Let's find a mining consortium or something, or a, or a mining outlet at least. Just gonna try and find a shopping district, basically. Nice. Uh, let me think. 
Eh. I mean, it's not like there's a layout or anything, so it'd be kind of weird to have you roll investigation. But then again, this is D&D. Roll, roll investigation! Investigation. Let me pull up my character sheet for the fifth time, because I've had to refresh a lot this week. Yeah. Pretty sure my internet's getting throttled again. Oh no! Ah, the inescapable jaws of capitalism. Investo Magistration. Eh. Ah, yes. We're both dumbasses. One, like, one, there, there's, there's quite a lot of people. Like, two, you're not used to this place. Like, you're not used to everything being made of rock. Uh, and three, you're not, you're not really sure what a market would look like here. Because, I mean... Just because it's a market doesn't mean it's going to look the same as from, from like, the material plane. Yeah. So, you're... you're Vayetir's you're... kind of used to pseudo-medieval open market spaces with tents and stuff. Yeah, like, uh, there, there's no guarantee that's what this place is, because, I mean, you've never been here before. You know, I kind of wish you had told me we were going to the elemental plane of Earth before we actually went here. I sort of was in a hurry to get dressed today, and now sand's getting everywhere. <laughs> uh, here, I'm going to use prestidigitation to unsand her armor. Nice. It, it probably only lasts a little bit, but just let me know if you need it again. It's fine. No, but no amount of prestidigitation will ever get sand out of the ass. Ain't that the truth? God, ain't that the truth? <laughs> this is why adventurers still need to bathe. All right. So we're going to switch on over to Cozy, and let me get a fucking... Actually, it'd be Overland with Oxen. All right. Uh, you reach where you know the ruins are, but, I mean, admittedly, it's been a while since you've been to this area. Uh, so unsurprisingly, uh, there's nothing there. I mean, that, that you can see. Well, it has been quite a few years. I mean, I could always try to give it a shot by, uh, you know, digging around and seeing what I can find. Hmm. What? Well, sorry. What? You, uh, you look good? No. <laughs> sorry, uh, what? What's going on again? Well, we gotta kind of dig around and try to find the entrance. It's kind of been a good number of years since I've been here. Okay. Um. Well, I can try what? to use this new trick I got from Vid here. Uh, okay. Oh, there's. Hmm. Let's see. I uh, will also do Mulder. I need you to click me that spell. Okie dokie. Yee. A five... Mm, a five foot cube. Let's see. It just keeps cutting out. Uh... Ah! Here's the thing. It says that a portion of dirt or stone that you can see. You think you see dirt, but nothing happens. Hey, what the heck? Come on. Is this another illusion? Um, goes to tap on the glass. You know, tap on the ground. It, it's kind of squishy. Wait a minute. Hello? Poke, 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 poke. It, it's squishy. Squeam chant, squeam chant. <laughs> What? I don't like I don't like this place. It's not very good for my hooves. I don't like I don't like going through this shit. Oh, but I'm gonna cast Mage Hand mm -hmm. and try to go through the dirt. You managed or... to go through it. It's not dirt, but you do manage to go through it. Uh, important question. Can Mage Hand feel what's in the Mage Hand, or is it, like, just a phantom hand? Uh... I mean, 
Wait, through it, my it understanding of magic. Date it? It doesn't say that it would, but through my understanding of magic, this is an extension of your this is an extension of your mind and therefore yes you would feel Your brain is touching it. Your brain is touching it. It'd be more interesting if you did. Okay. Uh so I'm gonna go with that. Uh it feels crumbly. It feels squishy and crumbly at the same time. I guess the best word would be coagulated. Uh, is this a, bit, a bunch of blood pulled up here? Oh, blood clots. Using Mage Hand, you do eventually manage to find some dirt. It takes... Let me think. I'm, I'm trying to think of how much blood would have built up over the years since Fearmonger made himself known. It has a range of 30 feet, by the way. Damn. Uh, so, it's, gonna, it's gonna take a bit of time, like, even even with the range of 30 feet. Uh, this particular part of the Elf Cap Woods is a bit of a valley, uh, and so... Oh, no. Yeah. Like, it's not a deep valley. Like, like it's not a bowl. But it's more like a shallow dish. Uh, so blood has had time to, like, over the years, uh, coagulate and, like, get on top of itself and, like, just, just pool. So what you're saying is, this is Blood Gulch. God fucking... Ah! <laughs> I can't believe I set myself up for that. I can't believe I did that. <laughs> God did fucking... It. God. God. My roots are showing. <sighs> anyway... Uh, so it's gonna take a couple of minutes to actually find dirt. Oh. Because, I mean, it rains blood every day mm -hmm. for 12 hours at a time. Mm. Like, mm. like, mm. like, compound that over decades. So, here's the big question then, Hype. Did we bring shovels? No... That's... Can well, we I turn into a shovel? That's up to Smogan. I... Can you turn... Import... Can you... <laughs> <laughs> it's up to you, Smogan. Can you <laughs> turn into a shovel? I turned myself into a shovel, Morty. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 I think you can only turn into creatures. So, if you can... <laughs> Go ahead. Come as mole. Wait a minute. One second. <laughs> give, give me a... Go, go on ahead, I'm thinking of something. Okay. Can you fabricate uh, a shovel? No, I'm going with something dumber. Okay. Oh, I always love the sound of that. I mean, there, there's, there's creatures that dig. Like, there's lots of creatures that dig. What did dig. you think I was picking, trying to find? Is oh, he gonna turn yeah. into a mole? Can you become a mole? I, uh, I mean, it I could, could, but one second. <laughs> Let me see. Wait, hype. Do you have polymorph? Yes. Oh God. <laughs> Remember oh. Operation T Rex. Oh my God. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, um, okay, so I could just turn someone into a giant badger, which apparently is the best dig, like, digging. Oh, a metal yeah. badger. I mean, plus it's a Z and D, so it could be a dire badger, a dire giant you, badger, if you will. You know, you know what I'm going to have to do if you turn me into a badger, right? Yeah. Uh Badger, 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 yeah, uh, Rhea's a shapeshifter. Yep. Yeah, two badgers is better than one. 
One second, let me just see giant badger stats. <laughs> Don't worry, I will not. I won't make you get into badger combat. No, no, I meant like his in burrow speed. Oh, oh yeah, that's fair. A ten foot burrow speed. <laughs> well, it's better than nothing. Yeah. I mean, ten feet of in six seconds. Yeah. That's kind of impressive. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's amazing. Uh huh. Important question, Ree, do you do you also become a badger? Yes. Nice. Badgers, 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 mushroom. Mushroom, mushroom. mushroom. You Vicious. hear that playing that, in your I head. mean, Holorana shows up again. No! <laughs> Holorana, <laughs> wild shapes into a mushroom badger. No! Uh -huh. I don't allow that. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> so, so, the two of I you... I know, I'm just making jokes. I know. Uh, yeah. so, so, the two of you just... <laughs> Fast God as fuck. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. Fast as fuck through the through the fucking dirt. Uh it's quite impressive, honestly. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean it's not dirt, it's you get the fucking point. Uh and eventually, uh with your combined badger power, you are able to reach real dirt. Da -da 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 oh, so it do we actually find like the ruins? No, you're gonna have to dig for the roof. <laughs> well, at least yeah. now I can help. Mold it. Yeah. Now you can mold the earth, uh, and you start digging down, a la Minecraft style. Mm -hmm. All right, let me we, think. I'm can, trying to. Can think. I just say that it's enough for us to like actually be able to fly back out. Uh, yeah. Yeah, like wide enough. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry about that. Dig Let's see. Down, dig down, dig down, dig down. Let's see. Down, down to Goblin Town. <laughs> Let's see. You weren't able to find the entrance, like, immediately because, I mean, it was covered in fucking blood. Uh, yep. So you're going to have to basically dig your way into the ruins without having the entrance to the... It's the equivalent of digging yourself through the roof of someone's house instead of using the goddamn door. Uh-huh. Or digging your way into Desert Temple by complete accident in Minecraft. <laughs> yeah. Or the Stronghold. Or the Stronghold. There's a lot of ways to sh shit, man. Minecraft. All right. Minecraft. <laughs> All right. Uh, hold on. I'm looking for fucking cave. There we go. There's there's cave sounds. Let me, let me turn off the overlay box and there we go. I detect Gor cave sounds! God. Goron city theme intensifies. Loop, it's, just, it's just generic off brand Minecraft sounds. God. What is it? What is it? Sorry, the cat's mewing. I have to respond. What is it? Are you okay? Did you fall down? What? Are you okay? Sorry. I, uh, the, the cat was meowing at me. I, I had to I had to respond back because the cat is a baby. Oh. Baby. Alright. Let me get you to the map. Hopefully Fog of War turned oh, oh, on. Oh, 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 what, what, oh, oh. Oh, shit, we have a map! Yeah! I actually made a map. We Help. have a map! Shmoogan oh. made a map! Well, it's a randomly generated map, but let's be real Shmoog here. Shmoog is a a map! <laughs> yeah, that, that is the closest to a fucking map you're ever going to get out of me. Mm. Let's see, there we go. This is a rare occasion! Yeah! Alright, there you go. Do you see it on the top? Okay. What next? Is Shmoog going to practice? I will end your fucking life. I will snap your <laughs> spine like a Kit Kat bar and drink the spinal fluid out of it like a slushy. I'm uh no longer badger. Nice. What about Ree? Are you badger? No longer badger. No. And now baby. Not baby. Let me. F I'm. I'm trying to think of if there'd be one particular feature in this place or not. Like hypothetically. I mean, that could... Actually, I don't think I ever got to explain that lore. I, I wonder if that would actually be here. 
Ooh. Okay, that'll that'll be something you can find. Okay. Uh, you come into the ruins, and I'm, I'm trying to decide what kind of ruins they would be. Because, I mean, it's a giant network of... Well, you'll see. What kind of architecture is it? It's mostly stone. Like, not... Not like the refined, beautiful architecture stone of the Earth Plane, but just cave. Like, oh. it's it's a big cave. Hmm. Oh, well, in that case, I can, uh, I can go through that. Nice. Let's see. This particular room, uh, you don't see any... Uh, also, do you have dark vision? Uh... No. <laughs> I do. <laughs> nice. Uh, did anyone well, bring a torch? Well, here's the thing. You f you forget Cozy's specialty. And he oh will forewarn Ri ahead of time this time. Nice. Light! Oh god, no. <laughs> PTSD flashbacks. Uh, so, nice. one of the things he did, instead of coming out of the eyes... Uh, you know, so you know the markings on Cozy's stomach? The yes. star and moon? So, yes. Yeah, You're Care, no, bearing this care Bear shit, staring you? out like. You fucking Care Oh my god, you fucking Care Bear ass motherfucker piece of shit. Alright. Affectionate. Okay, so this particular room doesn't appear at first glance to be anything special. However, as you light up the room, you notice that. It's not one piece of rock. Like, you know how caves, for the most part, it, it, it's clear that they're untouched. Like, it, it appears to be one giant rock. But in a couple of places in this room, there are clear cuttings, like, like carving out shapes in the walls. What kind of shapes? And eh, different shapes. Like, you can tell whoever made these was attempting to make it look as natural as possible. So, if you were, if you, if you didn't know that this place was a ruins, then you would just assume that it was another rock in the wall. But considering the fact that this is specifically ruins, uh, you can safely assume, like, hey, these were purposefully made. Hmm. Would Kelly have known or heard any stories about this? <laughs> He's been old. I mean, that's the thing, though. I don't think you... <laughs> <coughs> Fuck. The only reason I'm saying is that's because Lore Bard. You are a Lore Bard. He's a Lore Bard, but there was that question also where it's... Were you naturally from the world or from outside the mist? Outside. Yeah, you wouldn't have heard anything because the people around here probably are like, like the ones who would have known about it long since dead. Hmm. Yeah, I will. I will let you roll, just for the chance that you get a net twenty. Like it will take a net twenty for you to know things, but oh. I mean, you, you roll could roll of what? Uh, history. History. Okay, that's probably my weak, second weakest role. The only, only skill I have weaker is athletics. Now that one. <laughs> oh, that's the opposite. Uh, uh, you, you, you feel, you, you feel a bit of, bit of brain fog for just a second. Also, you yeah. hear that. Also, you hear that sound in your head for some reason. And, and that it keeps happening. Kelly. Kelly, this is no time to have my diarrhea. My fault. <laughs> God damn it! No, no, you would have never heard of this place. No. And Cozy only knows knew only knew about its location. Ah. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. So that's the only thing we have. Even even the inside the mist lore character only just knew where it was. That's it. Ah, yeah. uh, so this so this is the only bit we have, correct? Uh, yep. This is uh, 
I know I actually really went through here. Give me ten minutes. Ooh woo. Legend lore. Oh god. Alright. Let's see. So I'm sorry if this is trivializing things, but No no no. No, it's fine. I mean, here's like, the thing. The... Describing place is just uh a, a oh, hole that we fell in in ball. the elf caps. Yeah, because it's so vague, like like let's see, Lord. Would I at least give a name something. for it? Hmm. I won't give you a name because it doesn't have a name. Okay. I will I'm giving you the lore of the place, but not the information held within. Okay. Because there is quite a lot of information held within. Because with legend lore, you know that this particular ruins is a time capsule, basically. Like, every single one of those purposely cut out rocks holds something from the past. Something that people thought was precious enough to bury down here. Uh, and because of legend lore, you know that basically they didn't want those pieces of themselves to be forgotten. Because, I mean, hey, it's already been buried in blood. Hmm. hmm. So, like a museum. But people get to select what they put in. Hmm. Well, we should get looking. Yeah. Ain't Don't... gonna find nothing just standing right here. Yes. Um, though I don't... Do you think it's a good idea to disturb anything? I... Uh, yeah. We're only here to, to, to grab what we need. Hmm. You know how I feel about those kind of things. Yeah. I'm asking because I don't know know if this would be important or not. Yeah. We should I'm really just... look through first. Yeah. Okay. Let... Let us continue then. Yeah. Grabbing the first thing you see is greedy treasure hunter stuff. No, no, no. Of course not. I meant like us and to preserve. But this is pretty well preserved, honestly speaking. I am suddenly of the story, or of a tumble post, really. I don't know what um, he's saying. You crispy. I am suddenly, rem I am suddenly reminded of a Tumblr post involving an immortal whose mortal enemy is an archaeologist. Ah, uh, I, lo I love that post. That's funny. All right. <laughs> All right, cozy. Or Kelly, what do you do? Do you do anything uh, in this room, or do you leave this room? Um, I'm gonna leave this room alone. Nice. All right. For now. Let's see. I'm trying to debate. I'm, I'm trying to debate a particular thing. Oh, yeah. and there's no writing on the walls, correct? Huh? There's no writing or anything anywhere, right? I'm trying to decide if there would be writing on the walls. No. No. Because I th and for that and for that particular reason, I don't think there would be any traps or anything. Like, okay. I, I was debating on whether I wanted to make this a particular like puzzle, but I think making a puzzle here would kind of defeat the purpose. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Unless the puzzle itself were just a museum attraction. Eh. Where's the like gift shop? Oh, also, Re, do you do you do anything? Because I mean, you have a say in this too. Yeah, you are here. You have a say. Um, I'm going to enchant my uh, mall so it has fire on it, just so it cozy doesn't have to be a Care Bear. Nice. I mean, he's That's naturally right. just going to just keep emitting light out of his stomach anyway. Also, that counts. <laughs> but that way, we can also, each just look at stuff. Also, it's a really cool effect because you're metallic and you're also like next to a like warm light source. Oh, I wish I wish I could draw metal. Ah, what's over here? Puh. It's more <gasps> of a thing. 
It's it's more of the same, <laughs> buddy. It's more it's more of the same. Uh, it is rocks that are clearly like like carved out, but placed back in. Hmm. It's more of the same. Yeah. It's gotta be something... Something that stands out that we're gonna find here, probably. Hmm. What do you do, Kelly? Debating on if I... Fuck it. Ah, uh, my favorite words. Death character sheet and what? true sight. True seeing. Uh, see things as they actually are for the duration the creature has true sight. No secret doors hidden by magic. I'm trying to decide if that would actually even apply here. Probably not, but. Let me at think. the very Actually, least, it will cut through all the darkness. Yeah. So at least all of us can see. Yeah, true. Okay. Uh, so you're able to see. You, you're actually yeah. very, very good at seeing now. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm trying to decide... I'm trying to decide if... Okay, you know, I, th I think that'd be a cute way to use the ethereal plane. Uh, you do see a couple of like things here that you see on the material plane uh you see like chests and uh bookshelves uh little things like snow globes uh plush dolls hmm. various things hmm. like i just see them kind of like right next to where the stones are or do I see inside the stone or what like, no nah, just... like in the room oh like here in the open space in the mat in the ethereal plane you mm. see these things that aren't in the material yeah I'm going to go I guess and touch one. Does true seeing allow you to touch things in the material plane? No, it doesn't. Plane? I just nope. it's one of those things of it looks real, so I'm gonna see like. Mm. So I only use this tw twice now. The only other one is one thing I didn't want to touch. It, your hand goes right through it, so you can tell that whatever this is, it does not. It's not on the material plane. It has been safely tucked away in the ethereal plane. Like you can see into the ethereal plane. Uh, but it does not have a material plane counterpart. Hmm. Kind of. Well, I see the ethereal versions of furniture and the like. Snow globes. The hell's a snow globe? I don't know. Just a <laughs> glass ball with. Some... Yeah, but still don't exist in this world. It's fine. Okay. Oh. Um. I explain what a snow globe is, which is a glass ball with something inside and lakes of things in the middle that swirl around if you shake it. This would bring back a memory of some snow globes Blumpkin made. Uh, you have you have seen a snow globe before. It's just a vague memory. <sighs> <laughs> I remember something like that. Yeah, I kind of freaked out at first when I saw one of those things. I was like, Dear Lord, they're trapped in a snowstorm! <laughs> God wow. bless him. Cute. Uh, <laughs> took four guards to calm me down. <laughs> this is why I try to stay on your good side, Cozy. <laughs> oh, Lord. Not just that, you're a good person. <laughs> Re, you're just you're just watching these two talk about some bullshit. What you do? Mm, I'm just gonna keep 
doing my own thing. I'm looking for whatever we're looking for. Oh, yeah. Nice. No, we're looking for. Nice. Yeah. Me meanwhile, let me just switch over there, switch over there. <laughs> imagine me. Imagine there's two uh, radios on like a very long corridor and I'm rushing between them because I think that's funny. <laughs> meanwhile, right. rock puns. God damn it. Anger right, at rock puns. If, all right, if you are quite done with the puns, I would like to ask someone for directions to the shopping district now. So the, I thought the rock puns... I thought the rock puns were non-canonical. They were non-canonical. <laughs> I guess watch you're having a rough time. God! And I'm gonna stop yet another random stranger. Hey, watch it, buddy! I ain't uh, no... I ain't no palooka! And he's gonna leave. Uh, okay, fine. Screw you two then. <laughs> Them's fighting words. Man, that guy's a bit of a hard ass. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll find someone less stone faced and more approachable. <sighs> someone who looks less dense. Ah! Uh, And I'm going to stop a different random stranger. I'm going to roll for these random strangers. Eh, alright. Uh, they are an uncut gem person. Uh, they are, like, made of stacks of uncut gems, uh, with several limbs protruding out. Oh, non-circumcised. Oh, damn it! Excuse me there. Yes. Uh, first of all, wh what pronouns should I address you with? One moment, let me roll for those. Doop -a -doo. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's it's good to see that the tourists that are. It, I've had some pretty bad. Uh, never, never mind. Never mind. Uh, he, him, uh, and and you. Uh, he, him as well, and for for the very pointy one next to me, she, her. Ah. Uh. Lovely to meet you. Well, well, sir, we are, are just a tad bit lost. We are looking for the shopping district, not a gift shop, mind you. A shopping oh. district. We are we're in the market for some minerals. Ah, yes, yes. Uh, come with me, if you would. Oh, thank you so much. Let's see. I'm gonna. Let me think. Ooh, I think that'd be fun. Uh, they take you to the edge of town, uh, and they point towards a, it's a modest sized mountain. Just go in there. That's where it is. Uh, do mind your feet though, uh, and do be kind to him. Uh, duly noted. Why is the shopping district completely outside of the city? If I may is, ask. Is that not how it, it usually is? You, well, from my experience, the, the shopping district is usually somewhere inside the city, usually in the middle. That's weird. Uh, I, 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 I suppose it's just cultural. I suppose so. Well, thank you very much for your help, and you have a wonderful day, sir. No problem. Just, just don't litter, all right? Understood. Well, nice. Seems we've got a let's see, seems we've got a bit of a trek ahead of us. Oh, I mean, Sam ah. do you want to walk or do you want to fly? I mean, are they gonna freak out of the demon just starts flying across the town? This is a place of earth elementals. What if they prefer people to be grounded? <laughs> Eh, God damn it! Uh, I hate that, that. That technically has a point. I so mean, there's liter. I mean, there literally are dragons flying in the sky made of stone. I suppose you do have a point, but also points up at one of the dragons. Hey, that's a fair point. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Waves its little, very, very, very little hand. Hey. Hey. 
You have a very large head and little arms. <laughs> you can imagine how this is a problem for me. I Just... can. <laughs> I hope you at least know the spell Mage Hand to make your life easier. Just waiting for something to point at you all and go, DIFFERENT! <laughs> <laughs> nah, don't worry, there won't be any rock rate. <laughs> or maybe there will be, who knows? So. Fly flying or walking? I vote flying. We're gonna have to take it slow. You know, I don't have the best wings. It's okay. We can hold hands and fly together. <laughs> nice. Just smirks at you. What? 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 Why? Why do we have to hold hands? Because if you, because if your wings get tired and you drop out of the sky, I want to be able to catch you. Fine. And also because I want to hold your hand. Like, <laughs> she's already grabbing your hand and starting to take off. Uh, because you're flying, it's gonna take you two minutes. Like, it's not, f it's not far from town. Like, it's outside of town, but it's not far. It's the diff, it's the distance to from my house to the fucking thrift store, which none of you would know, but I know, and therefore I have a good visualization. It'd be weird if one of us did know. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, I've been there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, you begin to walk to the mountain. Uh, and you feel a rumbling beneath your feet when you land. Oh, rumbly. It begins to rumble even more. Uh, and you notice that the ground beneath your feet is rising upwards. It's just gonna take off again into the air. Good idea. Uh, yep. and... Just, Vance just kind of gets dragged along and starts flying with his boots. Nice. Uh, and out from the ground pops... It looks like a cross between a lizard and a stegosaurus. Uh, you know, And you notice that the mountain is one of the spikes on its back. Uh, and it's very... Uh, and it blinks. Uh, and it... Ah! Opens its mouth wide up. Is the market inside you, friend? Uh-huh. Okay, cool. Mm. Let us enter the Dodongo's belly. Uh. <laughs> Wait, we're just gonna go and sit. Yeah. Bold of you to assume I understand references, Skull. <sighs> You're batshit crazy. Fine, but yes. you digested. I'm blaming you. I'm pretty sure the reason we were told not to litter so we don't inter interfere with the di digestive system of the, our friend here. So you want to add to the digestion system? No, we won't digest us if we don't litter. <laughs> See? Fine, come on. Just think about it. Wee! I ate, I ate some of my stuff. Try, just trying to say things. Uh, and you go into the mouth, uh, and the mouth closes, uh, and you notice that the inside of the lizard stegosaurus hybrid thingy uh, is lined with glowing gems. It's very nice. Very nice. It's like going into a glowworm cave, basically. Uh, and they lead and they lead further in. Shall we? This place is dark and moist. Yeah. It's not moist! Uh, you notice that it is... It's actually kind of shockingly dry? Like, you're inside a creature. You're inside a very, very, very much alive living creature. But it is completely dry. I imagine this creature's biology works similar to a creature I read about called the Zorn. They, they, they consume rocks and such. And Don't. are compl <clears throat> and are smitten with precious gemstones and metals. Someone fucking pulled a prank on you, bro. I think I think Lazar probably slipped, uh, probably probably slipped in fear. A uh, copy of Legend of Zelda. No, he would he would do that. 
You don't think they digest? No, Zoran are a D and D creature. Oh, are they? What yes. do I think? What am I thinking of? The thing in uh, Goron. Zora. Goron. No, no, Zora's the fish. Yeah, yeah. but the name is similar. Yeah. Is Goron? The, is the Gorons, Gorons, the Gorons are the big stone guys. The Zora are the water people, and the Deku are the um, plant guys. Ah, uh, my favorite band, Gorn. <laughs> uh, and no, I don't want a specific dude. I want, I want to know the, I want to see the Rock Boys. Show me Zorn the Rock D &D. Boys. Show me the fucking Rock Boys. Where are they? Let, let me see if I can't get a search. Out. Holy shit! Yeah, they got three eyes. They look weird. Is that got a vagina on his head? That's his mouth. Nice. Good for him. <laughs> oh, I, w I bet you'd probably see some of those. You know what? Yeah, because I've just learned about the fucking Zorn. <clears throat> so I'm going to put them in there. Nice. Uh, you walk further in, uh, and there is a beautiful, beautiful rib cage, which I realize calling a rib cage beautiful is a little odd, but hey, fuck it. Uh, and you see that uh, sitting cross legged uh, with various goods and beautiful, beautiful things are a bunch of merchants. Oh, which is a Zorn, because I think it's nice just to include the Zorn. Mm. Fine. You were right about this being the market. Well, we were given explicit direction. I don't think those directions included go into the large creature. Well, they did say... Be polite to him and don't l drop anything on the ground. This is sort of just shrugs and sort of defeat. Look, it, look I'm, I'm starting to get used to this whole planar travel thing, and it's just easier to... It's just easier to go with the flow. Licking doorknobs is illegal on some planes. <laughs> Thank and you, Also, Dan. if any... <clears throat> And also, if anyone tries to tell you to lick a doorknob, do not. That is a trap by a cop. Fair enough. <laughs> it's this one! <laughs> He's just gonna uh, try to find a merchant who deals in metals. Uh, let me think. Uh, I'm, also, I'm trying it's to... like big pharma, so you get, get sick. <laughs> More like pharmacy. What? Let's see. I, I'm, I'm trying to decide if I want it to be... Like, precious metals, precious... Yeah, yeah, I think that would be more... Yeah, more earthy. Uh, there is a couple of rock giants. Again, this is a big creature. Like, like there's plenty of room for giants in here. It is, it is, Always the size of a map. Yeah. Like, like, fucking gargantuan. Uh, that's why it's outside the city. <laughs> uh, and... Uh, I'd say there's a couple of rock giants uh, and a couple of earth ganasi uh, are selling precious metals. There, there's a couple people. I'm gonna approach the earth ganasi. And Vayatir will be right next to you. Hello, tourists. Care to peruse my wares? I had a question, actually. Yes? Do you sell gold? Only the finest of golds, yes. How pure is it? Up to 89%. Purest mm. of anyone you will find for miles. I need gold that's literally flawless. You wouldn't happen to know where to find some, would you? Flawless. Alright, let me roll history. Well, it doesn't really matter what stat, because, eh, commoner stats. That's a seven. <laughs> I'm afraid that is out of my wheelhouse. Even if I did know where such a thing was, there was no way that the people around here would be able to afford it. That's true. Mm. Where does a mercenary find work around here? Uh, they give a big rocky grin, uh, and you notice that all of their teeth are silver. That... You just have to look under a rock. They are technically under a rock right now. Yes. So you're saying um, we're in the right place? 
Indeed, especially in the market district. Supply and demand, as they say. Mm. It's a cutthroat business. So, given given that the supply we seek is pure, the purest of gold, who might be our supplier? And what might they demand in return? <laughs> I will do anything for the right favor, my friend. Hmm. So you're saying you can get us what we seek? I can steal from the most treasured vaults of kings or the lowest of scum. I can find what you are looking for, but only in exchange for something of equal value. Then what would you have us do? Their smile widens, which you didn't think was possible. Shows even more teeth. Kinda, kinda uncanny valley, honestly. I need you to settle a bet between me and an associate. Go on. The bat being, who dies first? A woe! The bat being, who dies first? Oh, I had a feeling. <laughs> oh, good. I bet that I actually know how to easily get past. Who's your associate? They go by the name. Hold on, let me think of a fun rock name. What's a fun rock name? I'm, I was gonna go with Pumice, but then I realized that's... That's not really fitting for like a... Hold on a sec. I'm gonna look up... Oh, cool, Schmuggin. Cool I've rock been, name. Schmuggin, I've been waiting for this day. Oh? Flint Fredstone. No. Oh, damn it. Let me see. <laughs> In the hit MMO game Final Fantasy XIV, there are a race of entities called Carbuncles, who are based off of gemstones. I have about 50 of them from different types of gemstones that I have affectionately named. Ooh. Let's see. Do, 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 do. If you would, if you would, Ruby oh. Carbuncle! Precious if you, babies. If you at home would like to read about these carbuncles, visit https colon slash slash staffbuncles dot card dot co. That's staffbunkles.card.co. Uh, I've you, already seen you, Yo GX. God damn it! Get your game on. <laughs> it goes by the name of Topaz, and you won't find him in this particular town. No, no. He's far too good for the likes of us. He lives in the upper crust, huh? Damn it. <laughs> you could say so, yes. You will find him in the Sky District, far above the rest of us. Do you get to the Cloud District very often? God fucking damn it. You've walked into that one. <sighs> the Sky District. Is it a floating island? Of sorts. I'm sure you've guessed that the fauna of this particular place are uh, a bit helpful in their uses. You mean the dragons? Not all of them, of course, but a few, yes. Hmm. In particular, the studded gold dragon and the gem dragon. You would go to either of those. Who can say? He doesn't stay in one place for very long, but he never goes anywhere that's not to his tastes and standards. So literally one of two cities. Yes. The name was Topaz. Yes. Well then, suppose we have a bit of flying to do, darling. Really wish you would copy And what should I call you then? You know my damn name, Roger. Yes, but 
darling is more fun to say. A friend of the merchant. Can you give yes. me a brief physical description of Topaz? Hmm. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Let me let me draw. Let me let me draw a quick. Let me let me draw a quick thing. Here we go. Where did my water bottle go? For anyone who is uh, only listening. Just imagine the most basic bitch, slenderman ass looking motherfucker, but like with pointed uh, limbs and completely made out of topaz. Oh, good. It's a gemstone elemental. Yes. Right. Of curiosity. This is definitely against the law, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know of a single location in which murder is smiled upon. I know a few places. Ah. Oh. We visit the hells rather frequently. Ah, I've heard of those places. I shall certainly be visiting when my time erodes. Hmm. Hmm. Right. Mm. Alright then. In which case we should likely take our leave. Yes, but we should try to find this sky district. Yes, I, I imagine it will be mostly a matter of just flying up. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Upwards and west north, of course. East, north. That, that's not a direction. East. <laughs> Perhaps not where you're from. That's literally not a direction anywhere except maybe Limbo. You don't get around here much, do you? This is literally my first time. This is literally his first time. That and hers. That would explain a lot. Hmm. Well, whatever yeah. direction you fly in. They won't be hard to spot. They are quite large. Large enough to hold a city, in fact. <laughs> Sounds good. We'll be back. Ah. Oh, I do hope so. Now you're on a quest for murder! Alright, let's get back to the other group. Weast! Weast! Darling, if it turns out that this guy's the bad guy, we're coming back in here and killing him. Oh, no, He's going to lose a... the bat. Well, no, I have a plan. And that plan is... If Topaz is actually nicer, we kill creepy guy. Oh, no, I was just going to turn them against each other by informing them of the bat. They probably both know about the bat already. In fact, the <laughs> other one probably hired someone to do the same damn thing. <laughs> you never know. It's a, it's a cutthroat place. It's very possible for us to double dip on this. You know that, right? If they're both dead, how are we getting paid? Who says they have to be dead? Mm. Where the fuck did I put the cave sound? Weezed. Weezed. There it is. God. Huh. I need to organize my shit. I mean, we know someone with shaped stone, correct? Yes, but Cozy's not here right now. Cozy's in a in a hole in the ground. They didn't say it had to be done immediately. Are, are you trying to try and get Cozy to murder someone using the spell Stone Shape? Wouldn't no. be the first time. I'm saying we make a facsimile of one of their body parts. Squint. Then we make a facsimile of one of their body parts, and then both of them think the other one's dead. <clears throat> you asked me to make a topaz dongus. <laughs> oh. 
if they both think the other one's dead, then they're more than willing to give us a reward. Mm. <laughs> 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 uh, I... You good? No. <laughs> 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 No, that's what Kelly's doing. Like, uh, uh. Snow globes! Snow globes! Snow globes. <laughs> <laughs> ah! uh. Anywho. Where am I now? Well, you're in the room. Rosebud. Kelly, put your shoes on wearing grandma's. <laughs> I don't wear shoes. <laughs> 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 okay. Where? Where? <laughs> no, like, no, Kelly actually seems a little out of it. You good? Uh, you think? The past few days have been quite, uh, exhilarating. Yeah, apparently who would do that to you? Mm, yes, yeah. Parenthood. Anyway. Hey, don't think I don't know a thing or two when it comes to, like, you know, taking care of kids. You know, I've been around for a long time, and let me tell you, little goblins, well, they're not like little goblins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, the children are lovely, honestly speaking. It's... We'll talk about it later. Hey, who? I look around room number six. Yep. It's more of the same. There's a lot of that, isn't there? <laughs> yes. Is this? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, also, it's, te it's technically Ree's turn. Hey, Ree, what you gonna do? Hmm. I am going to bring my. <laughs> All around until I see something. Hmm. I don't That's... know. I mean, it is. Hold on. Let me. Let me. Let me check to see if. Let me. Let me. Nice. Okay. Uh. So you swing them all around. Wait. I just heard fire in the track. That's really great timing. Uh. And. You see that behind one of the uh, carved rocks, uh, something glints for just a moment as you uh, whoosh around. Uh, guys? Yo! Huh? I think yeah. I found something. Hmm. What room is Rian? One, four, or six? Well, Re? I mean, because Re doesn't uh... have a token on the... On the... Yeah, I I, I kind of just assumed Ree was like traveling with y'all in the same room. So I'm a so, so six then. Yeah. Hmm. I saw a glint of something over here. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, Go to. Go take a guess. closer look. It is a carved rock. Well, a carved rock that was carved out and then put back in. You know, standard. Okay. Uh, going to try to remove rock. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, and you It's a big-ass rock. In a big-ass rock, and maybe you stand your block. Uh, and I'll be your friend with a rock. Uh, and uh, you pull it out, behind which is... It looks like an egg... But the egg is completely made of crystal, uh, and very finely decorated. It's a Fabergé egg. I don't, I don't know if Toke, I don't, I don't know if Cozy would know what a Fabergé egg is, but it's a Fabergé egg. I found a baby. <laughs> uh, what the hell do you think hatches from one of these? Mm, uh, Fanciness. I don't. <laughs> you think Fancy is gonna be born from this? <laughs> Happy birthday. I. Don't. I'm guessing it's got stuff like poking out of it, stuff like that, like gems. Uh, the, well, yeah, like various gems. Uh, I don't yeah. think eggs. An egg would 
or any life would be in that. I mean, I don't know where golems come from. You make them. <laughs> yeah, but do you, what came first, the golem or the egg? <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to ask the Jewish people. Because I think that's where golems come from? Yeah. Yes. Um, well... Oh, that's... Should... Well, I'll just open up a random one. A random, I guess, zone. Nice. Uh, let's see. Let me, let me roll for how well preserved the thing behind that rock is. Oh, damn, that's a natural one. Um... While the rock was clearly carved with purpose, whatever was here before has rotted away. A fossilized Big Mac. God. Oh, that would still be there. Yeah, thank you! <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking. God. It's it's still the same consistency as if you left one sitting out for three days. Three it's days, 200 years. It's all the same. It's just a brick. It's just a fucking brick. You know what? I'm curious about something. Ooh. I'm going to cast Detect Magic. Ooh. Yeah, baby. Uh, a couple of the rocks light up. Well, not the rocks themselves, but, you know, the spots behind the rocks. Hmm. Not all of them, but a few. Like a handful. Uh, do you mind if I ask what kind of magic? Yeah. Um, what would preservation magic even fall under? Transmutation. Eh. Transmutation. Because you are trying to change something by making it stay the same. Yep. Also, because it's dealing with time. And time stops yeah. transmutation. Oh. Yeah, transmutation sounds right. Thank you, Sco Thank you, Hype, for backing me up on that. Yeah. Rose. <laughs> Problem. Magic bruise. Magic bruise. <laughs> <Bruce. laughs> Unrelated note, but I need a fine cork opener. In game? No, in real life. <sighs> Getting me saying why? Nice. Get crunk. All right, Re. You <laughs> you you have detected transmutation magic in a couple of the holes. Hmm. Seems like whatever we're trying to preserve, <clears throat> we use magic for it. Hmm. I think whatever we need might be behind those. I swear to God, there's a there's body behind there. there. <sighs> well, I mean, some cultures wanted to be remembered that way. Hmm. Might as well open it up. Okay. What's behind preserve door number one? I'm gonna roll for plot relevance. Oh. Ha. Well, that's a forty-nine. Not 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 good, bud. All right. Uh, it is a uh leather-bound journal. Hmm. Okay. Okay. And it's got a cute little heart on it uh, with the name... Uh, I don't know. Diddles. The Legend of Diddles. Hmm. Just gonna leaf through a couple pages. It is just a standard... Like, it's a standard teenage girl's diary. Like... It's nothing particularly special. Like, there's like, no... Tuesday, no... Becky came I... over. On Wednesday, <laughs> Jimmy looked at me, and I blushed. Um... <laughs> just gonna just gonna put that back. <laughs> I'm sure that was important to somebody. Mm -hmm. It was. There was transmutation magic on it. <laughs> <sighs> Hmm. Alright, hmm. wanna try the next one? Okay. Let's see. Roll for plot relevance. 
Because there is a particular thing here, which, while it, it's not game-changing or anything, uh, it, it is still something that the original crew never figured out. Really? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't remember... Uh, I can't remember. Does Cozy know why vampires exist? Uh, I just, uh, specifically from, clams. Specifically clams. No. <laughs> nice. Awesome. All right. Uh, that's a forty-six. Uh, it's a collection of sports ball cards. You're just gonna put it back. About you, Ree. I'm gonna go to the nearest light source that Cozy and Kelly didn't touch. In other words, door number three. Let's roll for plot relevance. <clears throat> oh! Please tell me oh. it's 100. It's 96. Pretty damn close. Yeah, d Jesus Christ. Okay, you found it. All right. All right, let me let me try to let me try to think. Let me let me think who this would be from. Hmm. Yeah. All right. You. You uh you get the thing, and it is a very thick journal. Like this this is clearly not uh, a diary. Uh, and it said it, it doesn't have anything, and it doesn't have like a name engraved on the front. It's just we a talking plain... like Bible thick or. Thicker. Oh, so a Stephen King's book? Yeah. Oh, so it's eighty percent racism. Oh no! <laughs> oh god. Also, also, it's like a child. Also, fucking sucks. Ugh. Hey, you heard me, Stephen King? I saw the mist. Fuck you. <laughs> Monster designs were cool. It was fine, but like the the dumb the dumb and let we'll we'll, we'll, we'll yeah. roast Stephen King later. Yeah, this is an off session discussion. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway, I guess I'll open a random page and see if I could read it. Uh, it has been preserved, so you are able to read it. Uh, and it says, let me think. What what sort of page would you turn to? I'm gonna roll again. I'm gonna see uh, how far into the book you roll. Oh damn! Sixty-nine. If only. Uh, sadly, it is fifty-seven. Well, at least on some on some plane that is even more sexy. Uh, anyway. Yo, dude, you fifty-seven? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dog. <laughs> God. And it involves rocks. <laughs> God damn it! Of course it fucking does. Uh, all right. Uh, so you open up to the middle of the book, uh, and before, it's, before you it's, go any further, I have to make a comment. Yo, if sixty-nine is sucking someone else's dick while they suck yours, is fifty-seven is sucking your own dick? Holy shit! Holy shit! Using a portal gun. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! My life's work. God, God damn it! You're welcome. Uh, let's pour it out there. That somewhere. Anyway, there's a uh, lot of that. About that. Uh, and there's a couple of notes uh, scribbled and scrawled, but uh, on the other page, uh, it states, "It took a while." But I think I've finally found where he was born. He never really talked to me about his family, or any of anything from his past, for that matter. It, it was kind of frustrating trying to hold a conversation, but I mean, I still did. It's right here. I think this is the start of everything. Uh, Cozy? Yelp. For some reason, I think this might pertain to you more so than it will for me. Hands him the journal. Huh? Looks at the first page. It is. It says, 
My, uh, it <laughs> it says, if found, please return to Aaron. Aaron. Wait a minute. Next page. <laughs> uh, and he says, Hello, this is the start of my little expedition. I figure after I have been released from house arrest, I might as well do something with my life, and it seems as though I'm not going to be able to save him. Then again, who can? Anyway, I think that perhaps the best way I can help is to find out what exactly his curse is. What is... Why? What? What? What's with the? What's with the clampires? That's that's ridiculous. That's silly. No, a silly person would come up with that. Why? Why is it so important to him? <sighs> Scooter. Yes. <sighs> this might be the begin. This might be the answer we've been looking for. Yes. Yeah? You know what, Aaron? Oh, yeah, that douchebag. Didn't he, like, turn everyone into clampires or whatever? He's the reason Baklava 2 is the way it is. Is it? Oh, yeah, that's right. He did do that. What a cunt. <sighs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Actual, actual history. <laughs> Re, you have no idea how extremely valuable this is. This might give us more. This might give us some really good insight on what happened back then, like all the, those couple hundreds of years ago. Like Todd himself, like fearmonger, the curse. I knew you'd get more use out of it than I ever would. Hmm. Especially because that guy didn't talk, even on his deathbed. <laughs> he took this information with him. <laughs> well, most of it. The rest of right anything here, literally. Anywhere. You think there's anything in there to undo these clampires or deal with Fearmonger? I hope so, because the beginning part here, you just didn't know why it happened. The only the only issue you need to worry about is not making more. So don't. I mean, uh, they can easily make more. All they have to do is bite people. Munch. Right. <clears throat> That's but we how we also... got a whole town of them. Oh. Sorry, I'm trying to think. Well, I don't think anyone would want to be cured at this point. Or, well, some might, but they might turn to dust as a result. That's the only issue. Uh, Cozy, you would know that uh, clamperism doesn't actually make anyone immortal. Like they're not undead; yeah, they have a, they have a condition. That's part of the thing I was trying to get to the point of. Aaron died mm. naturally. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> I mean, to be to be fair, literally no nobody here other than uh, Dora is the Dan. only Dora is the only one who could live this long, but that's because of his draconic nature and elven nature. Uh, he, is, he is a yeah. draconic elf. So, he got a long lifespan. Hmm. Yeah, you. Hmm. Fair enough. It's just like once for the rest of your life while you are bitten, it's going to kind of suck. Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. God <laughs> damn it. I just realized that fucking pun. God damn you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I was waiting. Oh, you earned it. <laughs> well, you have this book. What do you do with it? Uh, Cozy will put it in safekeeping for now, for when we're you know in a in a place where we're able to get some downtime. 
So, mm -hmm. the safest place he can currently put it is inside himself. Munch! Wow! Mm -hmm. Vor! Cozy is now slightly more rectangular. <laughs> <clears throat> I still so, well. We're going to need to. Right, let us see if we can find the exits. Oh, yeah, we should probably find the actual exit. Yeah, because we're going to need some clearing out. Well, maybe we can find some more things like this and hold out the Fabergé egg. <laughs> I mean, this yes. is gonna help pay for materials. So, yeah. I'm, so uh, here's the thing: you already found the plot relevant thing. I was just gonna roll for it until either you exhausted every room or uh, it happened. I mean, you had a pretty good chance because I wanted you to find it because they never did. Mm. And so, like, the rest of this is just gonna be random key. junk. Like, it's not. It's not junk. It, it it's basically you've stumbled into a giant time capsule of keepsakes. Yep. Uh, like, do you do you continue looking through the different rocks? Yeah, uh, just yeah. for funsies, I'll go into another room and check some more. Okay, so basically you like there are a couple things that have been magically preserved and a couple things that haven't. <sighs> You can gather that these things don't have any real, I mean, monetary value? No. I mean, a couple things like the Fabergé egg and a couple of old ancient coins, like things like that. But for the most part, there's things like grandma's recipes and oh, we're old, that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. and bone dice. Uh, you find a recipe for dream pies. Oh, like, whoa, 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 whoa. We, we are not glossing over that one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, apparently, somebody wanted to preserve dream pies. Uh, and it says. Got this got this from somebody who got it from somebody who got it from some old lady lol. Let's hmm. see. And it says here she said and I quote, Make your own shit <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Those are her dying words. <laughs> you have to make them now. She, she, <laughs> she said that and then she said her dying words and then she flipped the birds and died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I want that. <laughs> You okay? I'm imagining an old lady not even keeling over and dying, but her body just bursts and she's a ghost and she floats away. <laughs> the, the dream pie lady, yeah, no, we're taking that recipe. That was one of my most fun NPCs from the original. Mama shit! <laughs> uh, and and uh, behind a couple of uh, little, uh, uh, we'll, we'll call them what they are, they're cubby holes. Like, mm -hmm. they're rocks, and there's like, oh, cool, fun, aesthetic. It, it's cubby holes. Uh, you find various seeds for different plants that do not grow here anymore. Mm. These will be useful for us. Hell yes. And luckily, those didn't need preserving magic, because seeds are fucking hardy. Yep. Hell yeah. They actually found some in a nest, like, underground like a mole's nest they were able to make them grow oh i know right like fucking people people are like oh no if you don't if this, the seeds will expire nah bruh nah bruh if you take Not care much. of those shits if you store them in a cold place yeah definitely they'll be fine yeah. seeds last forever seeds <laughs> well, you joke, Skull, but we had a pair of moon shoes. We can take out the big bad. <laughs> God, you just you just hop up to there. What the fuck? That's right. You never seen anyone who could jump half a foot before, have you? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Sick flips. That's right. And if you were actually, like, you know, laying down and looking upwards, it would look like I'm jumping like a really high height. <laughs> God. <laughs> I can't wear moon shoes. Actually, if you really wanted to beat him, all we need is a, all we need to skip it. 
Because those things have been like smashing <laughs> kids' shins for generations. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yeah, um, we're I guess we're looking for the exit. Yep. Nice. Eh, let me think. I th- I think that Ah, uh, uh, whatever. Uh, you you found the you found the cool things. You found the seeds. You found the thing. You found the other thing. Whatever. Uh, you eventually find the exit. Here, reveal area. Damn it! Well, we could always just fly up through the hole we made and cover it back up. No. I mean, you could. No, we're opening this thing up. There you go. Just scroll down. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. You stupid. 21. It's a big map. Yeah. There's a lot of history here. There would have been a lot of rooms to exhaust. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, I mean, granted, like, not a lot of it is, like, it's not spectacular, but it is history. Yep. It's like, now we just have to find someone to do the rest of the archaeologicalizing. Yeah, it was, it's the essence of the people who were here before. We, and then have have that person teach. You. Yeah. Ba- basically, we need someone to play Indiana Jones in this movie. Da, 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 da. Damn it! Time actually beat me to it. You see this? It belongs in a museum, <laughs> which is where it was before I grabbed it. God damn it! The yes. British people. But um, okay, so. Um, let's see, what kind of... I don't want to shatter anything, that could actually bring the whole damn thing down on us. Are you just looking to, like, what, cover the hole or something? Not cover... What, what, what are you doing? No, I'm trying to get us out of here. Oh. But, uh... Hold you... Earth! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, you mold Earth! <laughs> you... Kelly's actually, like, uh... Jeez. <laughs> and you get the fuck out of there. Sometimes the easiest solution is, you know, the easiest solution. <laughs> he actually shakes his head again, like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Help him, he's disassociating. <laughs> no, it's... Yes, he's disassociating. Uh, and for good measure, uh, I'd like to go back to where we burrowed into and actually cover that back up so blood wa- blood rain doesn't pour into it. Take a good boy point. Hey. Mm-hmm. God, we are we would lose a lot of what we just tried to accomplish. Yep. Uh, okay, so I have an important question. Uh Sophia and Dynix, do you want to go on a fun murder quest or do you just want a anticlimactic like merc the guy like because I can make that a whole side story next time. I mean, <clears throat> making it a side story is cool, but I, Vades here has other plans, <clears throat> and they don't—they re- probably don't involve murdering Topaz. Hmm. He wants to meet Topaz first. Ah, okay. He wants to evaluate both characters and then see who he, mur- he murders in cold blood for being a shit heel. Oh, nice. All right. In that case, let's get to the fucking... <laughs> Imagine me going across the thing. <laughs> I turn on the thing. <laughs> Sound like Speed Racer. <laughs> God damn it. Oh! Whoa. <laughs> All right. There's that one clip. <laughs> God. He's a sociopath. All right. Uh, so... The thing is, you can fly, so you don't really have you don't you don't have any trouble getting up to the giant fucking dragons in the sky. Like, as far as dragons go, they're bigger, and dragons are already fucking huge. But these, so so they're like ancient dragon times two. They're the size of uh, Georgia, Georgia. Georgia, Georgia. So the size of a small Georgia. country. No, These Georgia. Continental dragons, got it. Yeah, they're big. Okay. Very large. 
Also, I should I should uh, I should specify these are not the same dragons that were flying overhead in the city because then they'd blot out the sun and that would suck. Uh, so just they they were a little ways away. All right, let me take the lead here. G given that this is a city in the sky on the back of a crystalline dragon, the size of Mount Delaware. The people up here must be pretty posh, and I know my way around posh people. Nice. I'll let you do most of the talking then. Right. I realize this is going to be the same music that I used uh, for the library, but I mean, it's 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 fancy music. This is fine. Come on, play. There it Thank goes. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Uh, which dragon do you go to first? The one encrusted with gems or the other one? Well, I did say gems. Oh, thank you. Just Sorry. a second ago. <laughs> Sorry. I have the no worries. Goldfish brain. I am I am notorious for goldfish brain. All right. Uh, so you get here and it is it is the epitome of excess. You know the Rococo period? Vaguely. Baby shit compared to this like not only is it excessive but you can tell that a lot of unappreciated labor went into this like fucking sistine chapels everywhere for just mundane shops it it's the type of shit where you need a fucking suit to go in anywhere like it, it fucking sucks uh, and everyone <clears throat> everyone is wearing fancy headpieces and suits and dresses uh, like, kind of Victorian era, but also with a giant fucking heaping vomit of Rococo style on top of that, uh, and it's all made of precious gems, some of which do not exist on the material plane. Oh. And anyone who looks at you turns up their nose, and a couple of people are like, Oh, darling, there's the raff. Oh, 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 oh. Mm, yes, quite, I am Oh, yes. Oh, yes, Riff Raff. The person wearing a one-of-a-kind and custom-tailored suit is Riff Raff. Quite. Oh, how did you get a tailor? The dumpster store. <clears throat> they're, 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 their comebacks aren't great, <laughs> but, they think, but they think they are, uh, and they go, they go away laughing at you. You're, you're basically a country bumpkin in their eyes. Do you have reservations? Only about when I'm charging them. <laughs> <laughs> no! <sighs> Pricks. <laughs> well, might as well match the style. I'm gonna activate my cloak to m m make my clothes. M m I'm going to activate my customizable cloak to mimic the style of what ev everybody else is wearing. Nice. Just, just turning up the posh, and I'm nice. also going to use disguise self. Ooh, what are you gonna to... disguise yourself as? I am only going to alter my clothing, but I'm just going to dial the posh and gem encrustedness, and basically just take someone else's outfit, think I can do that but better, and do that. Nice. And it's all all, all going to be in Veatir's colors. Oh, that's cool. It does nothing. You still get those looks. You still get those sideways glances and that sense of pretentiousness and better than you. Despite the fact that you have done everything in your power to blend in and wear their fashions and go with their styles, they still see you as a potato sacked country bumpkin. So what what are these? The, all, are all these beings commoner stats out of curiosity? Yeah. I could kill them with vicious mockery. You could. I could kill them with an insult. You could. But, but I won't. Yet. Good idea. You go to rock jail. <laughs> <laughs> won't be a dick. <laughs> Don't be a dick. Uh, come, darling, we are above th uh, these people's petty squabbling. We have a topaz to find. I... I don't 
know if I'm ever going to get used to that. Hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna use another spell slot to cast disguise self on her to make her basically look basically Veatir's version of better than all of these fools combined while also keeping to <clears throat> vicious aesthetic. Nice. You change her clothes, but you don't change her. Yeah. Okay, so they're they're still looking down on her as well. Hmm. Must be a racial pretentious thing. Pretension thing. Are all of the people here gem elementals? Yes, every single one of them is a gem elemental. That explains it. <clears throat> well, time to fly. Vader's going to cr cr tap his parasol on the ground and start flying again. He's going about all of their heads but as if he does not care about them. Nice. Good. Let's see. Where where would you go in particular? There are several places that you can go. There are uh, very, very... Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to use pretentious for everything. Fuck it, it's a good word. Very, very pretentious and over-the-top uh, chapels uh, and towering spires... And everything is everything is gems, baby. It's gems all the way up. I'm just gonna, but uh, as I'm flying, I'm just gonna point at a random elemental. You there? Where's the nearest party? The biggest ball there is. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you talking to me? Yes, peon. Oh, that's. Cute. Oh, I'm surprised you know that word. Ah, oh, I doubt anyone here would be low class enough to hire flashies for their party or even their waitstaff. No, I am an attendant. <laughs> In fact, oh. I'm I am meant to be the guest of honor. Oh my! Oh, oh! You, you tourists! You now have a sense of humor. Oh! And they would just walk away, laughing at you. Important <sighs> question. Yo. Um, are these monsters or are these humanoids? They're humanoid. They're they're gym elementals. Oh, good. Let's they're see humanoids. here. A are, they of a are they affected by enchantment <clears throat> spells? I mean, yeah. I imagine so. They're they're sentient creatures. Wonderful. Uh, I might need to change my spells. Um I am going to uh, the one time a charm spell would be wonderful. I am going to find a commoner and quietly whisper something in Abyssal and cast Suggestion on them. Ooh. Click the spell. They're not immune to charming or anything like that, right? Well, no, they're, they're sentient creatures. Great. Oh. Well, elves me. and fey are immune to charm. <clears throat> nice. Well, they're very much not that. They're, they're rocks. Yeah. Give me just a second. I got it. <laughs> oh, Kelly would Kelly would have a fun genocidal time, I think. And I don't want that. Yeah, that sucks. Because I mean, he literally caused an entire holy war. Well. For, for the record, you wouldn't get any bad boy points for murdering these NPCs in particular. I hate them. Yes, but I, I don't know if there's some good ones. Eh, I'll tell you now. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. That's a two. All right. Uh, so they very, very much fail. Uh, what's what's the suggestion? I'm going to suggest that they help us with our inquiries. Um, uh -huh. Uh -huh. You there, come here, we have questions to ask you. I recommend you answer them. 
Uh -huh. Why are you the one? That... <clears throat> Why are you the one with the charm spells when I'm the I'm the basically embo the embodiment of a fairy? <laughs> charm spell? No, this is a demand. <laughs> uh, suggestion is technically a charm spell, but yeah. I need to tweak my spell list. All right, you there. We're looking for someone named Topaz. Do you know anything about them? Mm -hmm. All right, let me roll in my history. Not bad. Not bad. It's <laughs> <laughs> my new favorite character. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, they bell uh, and they're going to start walking I think she's going to follow shortly behind and sort of beckon a finger to God here come along <sighs> darling <laughs> uh, you're getting used to it sound like a threat God all right, uh, so the person leads you to, I mean, eh, it's kind of redundant to say that it's fancy, but something about it is somehow even fancier and gaudier and more pretentious than the surrounding buildings. Like, there's giant statues with the guy's face on them, like... <clears throat> Like, golden statues of himself, and also, like, several scantily clad women statues uh, that are kneeling next to him. It, it, it sucks. Golden statues? Yeah. Fish is going uh. to use um, Vatir's writing book to sort of mentally speak with him. He's gonna pop the book open as he floats. You know, I'm feeling less and less bad about killing this person as to see him. Yes. I mean, we could probably just steal those statues ourselves. To be honest, if we break them apart, do you think his body would sell for good profit? Possibly, but I don't. I, I don't want to take any evidence. It's just <clears throat> gemstones. Gemstones that used to be a sentient creature. You might be killing and murdering, but taking bodies is taking bodies to sell is a step too far. Who says I'm selling them? We use this spell reagents. I have a spell that requires topaz specifically. I have a spell that requires gemstones. There's more than several. It's technically currency. Mm. The demons of hell generally love that shit. I'm sure they'd love a little piece of a shit heap like this person. They would. <laughs> it might make a good gift to my... <sighs> Do I call them my parents? I still don't know. That would be the correct word. Parents. My mom's? That would also be accurate. I just... Just... That's the thing that gets you, huh? <laughs> Thank you, dismiss. <laughs> just, just, just leaves, and you can hear in the, you can hear in the distance getting getting farther and farther away. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I need to do a thing now. Okay. <laughs> okay. Even though I'm trying to. <clears throat> trying to consider changing my spells, I need to pull up a thing. <laughs> Can we keep him? <laughs> That'd get all quick. No, it wouldn't. Uh, okay. Well, there's no there's no guards or anything. Do you think the elemental plane of Earth has guards? They Probably. must, right? It is a city. Also, let me just. Oh! oh, oh. God damn! <laughs> <laughs> there we go. My goal has been completed. Yay. Hmm. 
Well, just gonna, uh, mage hand push open the door. Nice. Uh, you don't actually have to mage hand it, though, uh, because the closer you get to the door, uh, it, it's an automatic door! Uh, it, it's, it slowly, uh, swings Arr. open, uh, and a, uh, very, very loud and very unnecessary jingle plays, uh, with trumpets and other fancy instruments, etc. Uh, and you see inside a suit shop. That's why there's no guards, because it's a suit shop. Hmm. Do I see Topaz as, as I float in? Let me think. Let me think. Where would Topaz be? Because there to are a couple of... Snoot. <laughs> but here I have a wonderful and potentially stupid idea. Are you able to plane shift? <clears throat> Has it been four hours? Uh, you tell me, buds. I'm gonna roll... A d6 for the number of hours it takes. Uh, 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 okay. Nice. Six. <laughs> yeah, you can play in shifts. Yes, can... I can. I have a wonderful idea. That's going to involve something very stupid. Oh boy. You think they're prey to mortal trappings? Such as? Oh, you know, the usual thing boys are into these days. Uh, they, I don't think they'd be attracted to you unless I use my last spell to disguise self you into something... <coughs> ...hornier. I don't know, so cute, but I can be pretty convincing. Yes, but you'd have to be a gemstone succubus for them to even consider you. It's because I think it's cool. He's a normal person, yes. So, technically... Technically, technically... They could Go be for prone, it. prone to suggestions. Hi. I'm gonna do something very stupid with this. We'll see how it goes. Hmm. First, let's find the nerd. <laughs> uh, yes. you... It, they're not hard to spot. I will not make you roll an investigation because you know, uh, you know how in gladiator movies there's that uh, there's that spectator box where the emperor stays. Uh, uh it's basically that. Uh, very high up, uh, about fifty, yeah, fifty feet. Uh, you see a very, very, very glorious, very lavish throne. Uh, on which sits the jackass, which you can imagine is Topaz, because he is a giant Topaz man. Uh, and he has a glass of, I don't know, rocks. Cause, fuck it. Oh, you know, be f I think it'd be funny. Yeah, uh, it's, it's a glass of, it's a glass of small rubies. <laughs> Actually, changed my mind on this. That's a stupid plan. I have a much better plan. To mock him openly and watch him fall to my psychic might. No. Is there a path to get to them? No. But he's making one. Uh, because he is now floating down. You don't- you didn't think rocks could float. But this bitch is, uh, jumping off of the balcony with a flourish. Uh, and Magnets. floating down- Huh? Magnets fucking magnets how do they work uh and landing in front of you excuse me but you are not you're quite you are uh, quite excused mm. how should i say this in a way that won't hurt your bumpkin feelings you are frankly not suited for my shop i must ask you to leave you are making the other customers uncomfortable <laughs> I do apologize. Room for a shop? <laughs> no, I do apologize for the inconvenience, sir, but I'm afraid we're just humble messengers. Yes. Kelly cast disintegrate. Kelly's not even there! I know. <clears throat> uh, 
pray tell, are you the Topaz we've heard so much about? The brave and mighty Topaz that I've heard is just so strong and handsome. You must be. You fit the description. Uh, I'm afraid I do not have a fetish for fleshies. You will have to take your lewd suggestions elsewhere. I am oh, only no, into... No, 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 no. I just ask because we've been offered to deliver something to you. Uh, yes, I would be then, Topaz, the one and only proprietor of this and other fine establishments all across the city. Yes. Fantastic. Uh, Fisher is going to communicate with Vatir over the book and say, I'm holding my hand. I'm going to trick him into touching my hand. When he does, we plane shift back to the material plane. Gonna sneakily hold hands. Roll sleight of hand! Sleight of hand holding. Exactly. I was hoping you pick up on that. Fifteen. Nice. I'm gonna roll perception. Ooh! Oh, you almost fucking beefed it. It rolled over to a twelve. Oh. From a seventeen. <clears throat> I do apologize for the inconvenience. I'm merely just a messenger. Please, I just need you to take this. And Visha will dig into her pocket and sort of hold a coin in her hand. Ah, oh, yes, it's, tourist money. It's a message from one of the things. It's... yeah. <laughs> Roll deception. Alright, sure. Cat 24. He's gonna need a nat 20 to see through that shit. That's an 18. So close, bud. Now, roll persuasion. With disadvantage, because he's racist. I'm gonna use my demonic heritage to uh, get advantage on my persuasion check. Nice. It'll do cancel out then. Do the demonic seal alpha. It'll, it'll, ca it'll cancel out Ugh. then and just roll a normal thing. Uh, persuasion? Yes. Oof. That's an eight. Damn, so close. <laughs> um, what do you? I am afraid can I, you. Hmm? Uh, can I actually use two good girl points to reroll that? Or sure. Take advantage on that. Uh, it is. It is three. But yes, you you can. Roll twice and take the advantage on. And you you get the idea. It's highest number. That's a twenty. Nice. Roll again just to see if you can get a natural twenty. Nope, but I get 21. Nice. Mm. Yeah, that's a natural one. Jesus fucking Christ. He doesn't even get a fart sound because it's good that he failed. Fuck him. Thank you. Uh, well, I say, I suppose I can play along with your little peasant games. Uh, I am a charitable man. Uh, and he's going to reach for it. And as soon as he gets his hand at the coin, I'm going to quickly grab his hand, and Vadir's gonna play shift. Yep. Whoop. And we're going to the farm dimension <clears throat> because why not? <laughs> Just add insult to injury. Hold on. Let me let me see if I can find my banjo music. I know I have fucking banjo music here somewhere, and if I don't, I will re-download my goddamn banjo music for this. Actually, hang on. I think I know the name of the track. Hold on, I think I know the name of the track. Is this it? Please tell me this is it. No, that's too short. Oh, but there's a but there's a tag for banjo. I need it. Tell me this is it. If there was ever a time for a banjo. Yes! This is the time! So, I'm not gonna bring up an image. Well, okay, maybe I'll, I'll do it passively. Alright, uh, so... 
<laughs> Needless to say, uh, it, it basically looks like the most rural fucking mud roads everywhere. Uh, and, like, there is a farm everywhere. And just to add insult to injury, there is uh, a couple of pigs mud wrestling, and also a couple of pig folk mud wrestling. Pretty much as soon as we land, I'm going to try to basically slam him down to the ground. Straight into that mud. Just like that, I'm good and under my heel. Nice! Uh, <laughs> what is this? Visual what is your retribution? Vishal holds a hand up and calls her blade to her hands and pins it pretty much right on top of his face. Not quite punching it yet. There won't be a need for that, darling. I'm going to let this man know exactly what I think of him. <sighs> You're taking this from me? Fine. <laughs> let her have it. <laughs> let her have it, come on. No. This man has insulted my pride. And my darling. This must be paid for properly. Visha's going to offer fight to you her sword. Nice. He's going to wave his hand. <sighs> Prepare yourself to plunge it in right as I speak my final word. Oh, please do. Make it a good one. Topaz. You are a greedy milksop and a backward <clears throat> coward. You are not worthy of the life that you hold in your body. And so it will be taken. And as he finishes his sentence, the spikes of psychic energy of his vicious mockery will come forth and stab into nice. his brain. Fucking roll for that shit. There's no roll. It's auto hit. No, I mean, roll for the oh, damage. Uh, oh, right. DC 18, wisdom save. <laughs> and if that doesn't work, Vish, just stab Will. I mean, Vish yeah. is pretty much going to plunge her sword straight through his face part, whispering your, your associate sends his regards. <laughs> uh, you don't even yeah, know that he... asshole's name. Yeah, he fails. Uh, and... Uh, and you plunge, uh, the sword through his head, and here's the thing, he's a, he's a gym person, so I'm not exactly sure how this would work, I guess because it's demonic energy. Actually, you know what, fuck it, you know what, he doesn't deserve a dignified death. Uh, he, he, it shatters his brain. It shatters his, it shatters his fucking brain, uh, and his body, he explodes. And because he died in my sword, he is now pretty much a ghost under my control, thanks to a cursed specter. Nice. You can bet your ass I'm gonna curse his soul and bind it to my service. That's gonna be a great thing to cover. <laughs> and because I love irony, uh, the only thing left of his body is his heart, which is made of the purest gold. Oh, would ya look at that? You know, okay. pick it up with mage hand. We don't nice. even have to bother with what's his face. Yep. But we could still pull a collector reward if we wanted. How big is the heart? Heart size. It's not enough to make a hilt. It's it's not enough to make a hilt. We'll probably need a bit more. I uh, we'll have to go back to him. But while we're here, yeah, we can make arrangements to collect those fucking the. <clears throat> the livestock we need. <sighs> I'm gonna need a disguise. I don't know if they're uh, muscles. Do you think they have cameras? Look around us. I mean, back in the stone dimension. Oh, uh, no, we're not. We're going to. When we plane shift back in, we're going directly to the shop. A guy I've comes by blowing. A uh, possum man comes by blowing a jug, and he's like, "She, you ain't you one of them ding dang diddle darn dim ding dingle dang ding ding dim <laughs> de demons?" Yes, I don't yes. know. 
Okay, cool, Nelf. Oh man, you're so cool. <laughs> just, like, <laughs> just, just absolutely fanboying over Visha. Visha sort of helmet, uh, sort of burns off in like black red fire, and she sort of shakes her long hair up. Hey, if, I, smiles. if I weren't in a committed relationship, I might feel something right now. I see. But it's more admir—it's more of an admiration sort of thing. I promise you. Oh. What's your name, awesome man? Cletus. Cletus. Oh, Cletus, we happen to be in market. Oh. Yes, we need livestock for a I farm got... in another dimension. I. Wee, that sounds fancy there. I got the finest rats this side of Mississippi. Ah, uh, we don't need rats, thank you. Oh, everybody needs a rat. Do you have cows, pigs, general livestock? No, that'd be that'd be my cousin Grits over there. Uh, and just points to a <clears throat> random barn. It, it, it just looks at the two pig folk wrestling. No, no, over there, son. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> over there. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Just going to add back Cousin Grits and, and, cousin Grits and his husband, Kapudin. Uh, Cletus, oh, thank you, sir. Cletus, was it? Yeah. Hey. Question for you. Uh, she? Do you know the definition of something called Southern Comfort? I do indeed. It's all places of Southern Comfort, son. I need a recipe for something... Southern comforty. I need to surprise someone. Ooh, eyes go wide. <laughs> Ooh, what, what you thinking? What you thinking, honey? You thinking cornbread? You thinking apple pie? You think <laughs> it's just listing off a bunch of fucking southern food? My parents make a damn good cornbread. Ooh, hey. so I'd like to learn something similar, and maybe some grits too. I'll teach you to. I'll teach you to trade at the trade. Oh, I'd also like a hash brown recipe if you've got one. Oh, I myself don't have hash browns, but my my, co my cousin Grits' uh, husband Pudding does, and indeed make the best grits you ever did taste. This seems like a wonderful way to kill four hours right here. Indeed. <laughs> Learning new <clears throat> skills. Yes, and arranging business deals to teleport animals into a slightly worse experience. Because Baklava has no son. Yeah, this place is... The, you can tell this place pampers their animals. Like, th these are some fat-ass cows. We're really going to have to assign some of the townsfolk to farming. Well, more than we already have with the greenhouse. You know what? I'm gonna write to Lency while we fly over to God the, uh... Damn it, Pat here. You know what we should have done? What? Should have asked him to write in your book. Did Lindsay not write in your book? No, the merchant. Oh. Ah, that would have been a good. Uh, that would have been a good ploy. Ah. Uh, yes, I just need you to sign here for a delivery. Ah. Well, we've got that one for next time. Nice. On the bright side, at least we have a smug asshole under our control now. Yes. <laughs> a All smug racist today. asshole. Hey, Topaz. <sighs> Hi, how's that suiting you? I hate it. Good. Good. Question for you. Did you have any guards? Why would I need guards for a suit shop? Good. Apparently you made enemies down under, friend. I yes. make enemies everywhere I go. Having enemies is a sign of jealousy and success. Well, now you're a pissant ghost. So, yeah. fuck you, buddy. Hey. Hey, question for you. Now that you're dead, what's the legal process to take over your business? I would never tell you. You have to tell me. I'm your master. <laughs> uh... I don't fucking know this paperwork, I guess. Good boy. Would you be willing to sign that paperwork over to yours truly? I need no. a claim once all this goes over. No! You, you've got a legal sense for these kinds of things, being a politician, yes? I will yeah, end I do you! Actually. Do accursed <clears throat> specters still count as consenting parties? 
I mean, uh, probably usually, not, actually. I mean, yeah, usually they do because I mean it is a living soul, but also you can do illegal stuff. It's fine. You won't get bad karma for it. Do it, cowards. Oh yeah. Why not? We're I mean, happy. technically not because this soul is bound to uh, uh, to your service, but we don't have to tell them that. Mm. Yeah. It's okay. Racists don't have human rights. <laughs> Whoa. But here, I have a wonderful idea. How would you like to own a suit shop? Make better shit than he did. I was thinking to take the suit shop, immediately sell it to the highest bidder, and then use that lovely profit to get ourselves some pure gold. Hi. Especially if our original contact doesn't follow through on what he, he promised. That's true. Come on, let's go make grits. Oh Hi. shit! Hey, Keech! Remember that time you bet me I couldn't shit on a ghost? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh, hell yeah! This is your opportunity to go for it, son! <laughs> Make him lie down and take it, darling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God! I didn't think that's we were that kind back. of... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God! Let's just stop that. We're gonna, leave, <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna fade to black. That <laughs> we're gonna move. We're gonna move. All right. Ooh. Fucking, I can't. Making grits. <laughs> Making grits. That's it. That's it. <laughs> All right. Well, it used to be grits. Oh God, why? <laughs> <laughs> what am I, what I guess am I, I doing? We'll send a cool message over to Kelly. Kelly, oh, I, I was going to specifically message Lancey, hey, get a pen prepared for <laughs> animals, where we, we might be bringing some by real quick. Mm. Uh, Shoot, just, motherfucker! I was uh, just in the yeah, right Kelly, you, you can't, well, with the book? Okay. Yeah, with the yeah. book. You, you didn't you sign never it. never signed remember? it. Yeah. Shit, that's right. Yeah. Hey. Oh, cozy. Mm -mm, cozy can pass along the message. We know <laughs> you're together. Honestly, I'm just gonna break. Kelly is a Kelly is a strictly do not interact man. No, no. Kelly is a hey. You don't. It will literally end up with spam. You will end up with tons of spam. <laughs> <laughs> you want penis enlargement pills? No, <laughs> no, Shrugan. You know exactly what would happen. Oh, I know, and I love it. <laughs> hey, cozy. Uh huh. You're never gonna guess what we've been up to. <laughs> well, I'm guessing you ain't shitting on ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny you say that. Damn, it. Damn, that was a joke. You people are weird. I'm not doing it personally. No, but we're visiting the farm dimension. We just killed, I don't know, some smug douchebag, but we've got a bit of pure gold. Oh, nice. Honestly, it was easier than we expected. We just had to murder a dude in broad daylight. Uh, well, okay. Wait, you say daylight? Technically, I don't know. But you're too. We took him to another dimension, then murdered him. I mean, there is daylight. I mean, like, it's very nice. Also, it is a smiling sun. Don't worry, it's not like the Teletubbies, baby. Is he wearing sunglasses? <laughs> you know he is. Regardless, I did want to ask. Do you like grits? I can't eat food. Wait, yes he can, he just doesn't have to. I mean, yeah, I can. I don't exactly taste. Wait, is, is that a thing in the throw thing? Because I, I remember reading, like, when I made Hello, that, like, you could eat. Oh, no, I can eat. I just... It's just not necessary. I was just going to say, because I met the most lovely possum man here in the farming dimension. Well, they I want to meet a possum man. They say they know someone who makes killer grits. We'll bring you back here sometime. We, we, we probably need someone to help carry the animals. That I can do. Fantastic. How are things going on your end? Well, we found an absolute treasure. What, was any of it pure gold, by chance? No, but probably as valuable. Was oh, it good. a large sword? Uh, no, but it is a journal of the history of Baklava and other things that happened in the mist. Oh, shit, sure, that's pretty good. Hmm. That'd be cool if we want to open a history class. This is more history that can help us in the long run. Uh, history on someone who knew Todd. Ooh, that does help us. 
keep up the good work. We'll be in touch. Oh, by the way, we might be new owners of some kind of fancy suit shop now, so... Yeah, all we got was that in this gym encrusted egg. <coughs> oh, oh, shit, a Fabergé egg. Yeah. I might want to decorate my room with that. Just I figured fancier. I was going to I was gonna try to hatch and see if you came out. <laughs> Fabergé eggs don't hatch. <laughs> They're it's... not even real eggs. They're made to not look like Not with that eggs. attitude, coward! <laughs> uh, please on. don't waste a wish making the Fabergé egg hatch. Hold on, let me ask. Hey, Cletus, do Fabergé eggs hatch eggs? Fabra, what? <laughs> Hold on, let me get the Cletus music. <laughs> there we go. Well, out there, the pansy is, 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 is that their Fabergé egg a regular Fabergé egg, or is that Fabergé egg actually the egg of a gym dragon? Is it a regular Fabergé egg, or is it a gym egg? Oh, uh, 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 I don't know, roll so intelligence. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Rolling intelligence. I feel like this would be a nature check, personally. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, or Arcana, since, you know... Ryan. It's a one either way on me! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bardic Inspiration. Yay! <laughs> hey, take, yeah. take one and roll. <laughs> no Bardic Inspiration <laughs> in the world is gonna help me with that one! Nope! I mean, it's 13. I don't think a 13 is gonna help me! <laughs> nope. I think it's an uh, egg. I'll look the thing over when we get back. <laughs> See if it's a dragon <laughs> egg or a not, or, or, or a fucking empty egg. Mm. Cletus, we may have to get back to you on this one. Yeah, I understand. I do have a PhD in them, them are dragons and such. Seriously? Yeah, I went, to, I went to dragon school, dragon Harvard. You know, how it is. Shit. Would you like to take a vacation to the worst place in the multiverse? <laughs> well, I mean, well, I mean, shoot, I'm always up for new for new experiences ever since ever since my wife left me. Yeah. All right, give give me four hours. So let's get let's let's get these grits on. Hey. Um, does does Kelly hear any of this conversation, or is this all in? No, head? it's all. No, it's all in his head. Yeah, it's okay. all. <laughs> Oh. It's basically a group call between in Veatir, Visha, and Cozy. Huh, I haven't heard a banjo in a long time. <laughs> Veatir, we can come back for Cletus. We do need no, to I, I literally can't play Chef for four hours. We we should just do the grits. Well, no, I'm thinking our next plane ship should be back to the elemental plane of Earth to collect on our reward. Yes, and then back to... <clears throat> and then back to ba ba Valley Ball to visit to pick up Cozy, and then back here. Agreed. Cozy, no. we're gonna pick you up after we go back to the elemental plane of Earth. Okay, um, gives me plenty of time to read this journal. Yep. Talk to you soon. Bah. Bah. Come on. <sighs> Let us away. <laughs> okay, so you know, uh, I just but, realized I, I want to yeah. retcon what, uh, what I said to the guy because I just remembered my diehard dice came with a Shakespearean insult ge generator. Oh yeah, sure. I can. That, that's that's a minor thing. Go ahead. You know, technically speaking, since we didn't murder him on the plane of Earth, the plane of Earth's laws don't apply to us anymore. <laughs> yes. You saucy hedgeborn wee face! Nice. I don't know what any of that means. <sighs> well, I mean, I imagine, she, I imagine you wouldn't have said that in the moment, because, you know, sword. Might have thought it, though. Anyway. Anyway, uh, by the time that Vaytir contacted y'all, y'all were already back in Valley Ball. Mm. Okay, well. Dangers aside. Uh, what? 
Yeah, it does. Best not to think about it. <clears throat> oh, they did find a big chunk of gold, though. Oh, lovely. Yeah, doesn't sound like it's enough. About though. the size of a heart. Like, like, have you ever, you ever seen someone's heart? Yes. Why are you answering for me? No, I was talking. I was answering for myself. You're not. Wait. Even... Wait, ah! Kelly, wait. Wait a second. Kelly can't. Kelly wouldn't hear that. He didn't write his name in the book. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> but he's answering. Right? Yeah, That's I, I, him I, I, I got confused as to who that question was addressed for. <laughs> it's okay. I'm confused all the time. I wonder why Kelly didn't write his name in your little book. I have no avoid idea. conversations like this. <laughs> anyway, uh, are y'all heading back to the mayor's manor? The, yes. Nice. Uh, you head back, uh, and you see that Lazar is currently sitting cross-legged on the floor uh, with a bunch of cards that you with creatures on them that you do not understand and have never seen before. Uh, and the other one of the kids is like, "I summon blue eyes, white dragon." Oh no, that means you automatically win. You did it. I did it. <laughs> yeah, rain of cards. You did it. I uh, just throwing cards everywhere, and the kids are like, "Yeah." I like the fucking hype in their brains out. <clears throat> oh, you're back. I didn't the realize they had doing? space for Stroy and Hypercube to ultimate frizz is be chess strip poker in this universe. Okay, no, get the get the TTS out of here. <laughs> I, I I don't know what that is, Good. but cool. It, it's it, it's Yu-Gi-Oh, but with a dumb name. Yeah. Oh god. Because he's gonna go find hello. Nice. Oh, I forgot the billiards part. <laughs> uh, you notice that the kids are fine. Uh, they are. They. Oh, don't worry about Din Din. I already fed him. I gave him some nuggies. Uh, it was like dinosaur shape, you know, because you know kids. And also me, uh, I like dinosaur shape. Yeah, you know, chicken nuggets. All right, oh, right. Into a bird person. Chickens. I mean, it's not the same. No, uh, uh, no it's chickens, not. You're not yeah. eating stalk. Yeah. Plus, it's plus different amounts of sentience. You know. Yeah. yeah. Oh no! If he, if it's sort of like the fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> like the fuck. <laughs> Lord. Ah. Uh, oh. What trouble is all? Yeah, you know, I'm good with kids. I mean, I was made by kids. It only makes sense I'd relate to them. Hmm. Well, I'm sure it might be interesting to talk about godly thing. <laughs> if you don't mind, I may need to call in your services again. Yo, yeah, I would love that! Mm -hmm. Today was, like, one of the best days of my life. I haven't got to, you know, really interact with kids since... <laughs> I mean, you know, mine grew up. <laughs> oh. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> no oh. problem, Bob. Yep. Come. Right, come on, children. Yeah. Father will make pop-up toast. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah, really. Call me if you need anything. All right. Toast. Good. Gotcha. Yeah. And he just back back to his plane. <laughs> uh, shall we go to Lindsay? Yeah, yeah. Let's see. I think Lindsay. Ah, uh, let me think. Let me think. Where would Lindsay be? I think uh, he would probably be doing his training again. That's just kind of what he does to pass the time. It's a hobby, but it also helps his mind and also his body. Hmm. <sighs> Ooh, center of the south. Center of the south. Ah, uh, damn it! I got a song in my head. Oh, hey! Welcome. Hey, sorry. Hello. <laughs> ah, sorry, man. You, you good? You all right there? Yes. Oh, training. Lovely. Yeah, I mean it. I'm I'm more 
It's a combination of training my body, but also, like, training my mind. Hello said that meditation would be good, and so I decided to, like, mix it with, you know, training other shit. Oh, sorry, the kids are... Sorry. No, I already know that word. Yeah. That's a fuck word. Okay. I mean, to be fair, it is hilarious when children swear. Mm-hmm. Oh, actually, um... Well, we're back. Uh, bounce. Well, cozy. Oh, cozy went to go find hello. Oh. You look behind you. He's fucking gone. Oh, there's a. Oh, oh my. Okay. Um, we found a book on the history of this place. Uh, well, a diary on it. Holy shit! How did you find that? Apparently, preservation magic. Huh. That's yes. really impressive. Oh my mm -hmm. god. There's a entrance now to the temple. Said something about making that a school or something. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, not the not the thing itself. I mean, that uh, I don't want to like you know desecrate any historical sites. Mm. More just like copy the information from there and then send send it back. You know, like yeah. let them let them keep it and also let us have a copy of it. Hmm. Well. Uh, okay. Well, there's probably more in there. There's a bunch of, like, stuff. I want to bring a team of people that can, you know, carefully go through these. Basically, just cubbies. Oh, don't um, worry. I, I have had a team ready and waiting for, I don't know, since I put that quest there. Uh, it's it's kind of hard to tell time, you know, with the mists and such. Yeah. Um, Actually... Kelly will give a small applause, like, oh, well, very well done. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I am the mayor. Hmm. Well, I guess Gregory's the mayor. I can't remember which one of us is the mayor, honestly. Wait, we kind of just work in tandem, you know? Well, you... Either way, good job. And, Thanks, man. Um, well... Let's see... Um, sorry about earlier. Earlier? Oh. Yeah. Uh, look, it's fine. Um, but, I got I got some shit I gotta work through, and yeah. that's not uh, I, it's not your it's it's not your job hmm. to work with that. Um. Well, I can at least help you get rid of some of that frustration. Hmm? Um, you said your training. Uh, would you like? Uh, well, not me per se, but at least a object to train with for about a minute or so. I mean, sure, that sounds cool. What do you got? Throws out animate object, but only like one sword. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, sword work. I'm I'm more of a fists kind of guy, so I think this will be good for like diversifying and like balance and stuff. Oh, I've heard you gotta like treat this like an extension of your arm. This will be thank you. Hmm. Yes, and then uh, another, like quite another sword. Oh, nice! Yeah, like that's what I meant, like animate object, because he has like he has twenty on them. Jesus, that's a lot of swords. But he only, but he can only do ten. But he's just doing two. Nice. He's gonna start fucking sword dancing. Well, I mean, not immediately. It's not. It's not gonna look good immediately. But you but, get the point. Oh, well, so he's controlling it, and it's gonna be kind of like. Very basic sort of thing. Nice. Yep. That's really nice. I'm feeling generous today. Take a good boy point. Yeah. But I yeah. hate I, I hate to do this at the end of the session, but I really, really have to use a bathroom. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, Morgan. So we having fun tonight, guys? I've been flipped upside down. I'm having a fun time. Hey, yo, Keats, remember that time you bet me I couldn't cover a ghost in jelly and make it my bitch? <laughs> oh, God. But, no, Dynex, I am being serious. There is a reason why. <laughs> oh, I and, know. And the book. <laughs> 
I mean, if we're being technical, the only way you could send anything to it to the book would be if Veatir sent first, because mm. he's the one with the book and that us the one with the ability to cast sending. Mm. Okay. Yeah, but here's the thing: as soon as you sent something, that's all that would appear for a few seconds. Oh. That something would appear for a few seconds and it would just kind of flood. Kelly's so basically, mind. the page turns black for a few seconds. Yep. Kelly's mind. Arr. <laughs> I can't wait to find out what's in that book. Mm hmm. I mean, what else is in that book? Oh, there's gonna be some shit. At least, like, you know, something to use against Fear Monger. Oh, the other. This, there's another thing I got that's gonna go in tandem with it. Mm. The Dream Pie recipe. Mm. That's gonna go in tandem with this journal. Mm. <laughs> You're gonna teach how well to make Dream Pies. No, this should not get out. Uh. That's something oh. that should not get out. Eh? Uh? Yeah. Yeah. Not inside the mist with the way it is currently. Wow. It was fine at first, and like like a couple hundred years ago. Except for one okay. person who who ate them and shit went down. It, it, explain to me what a dream pie does. Uh, after you eat it, it does uh, pretty much like like work like melatonin and put you to sleep, and you're able to uh, dream walk. Uh, and in the original campaign, after Raven consumed a slice of dream pie, she met someone in the dreamscape, who much later found out that it was Todd. Oh. Uh, and after a bit, uh, Fearmonger broke through mm. and pulled Todd from the dreamscape. Mm. Oh, no. Okay. Uh. In fact, that was actually the last session. Mm hmm. Ne next, oh. uh, uh, next session, we're going to. We're dealing with the Pope, aren't we? Oh, Probably. we don't know if it's going to be that fast. <clears throat> yeah. I hope it's not that fast. Yeah. I mean, they are going to have to deal with the horrors. I mean, other than the no love, the horrors of the mists. Because mm. they're still, like, Valley Vol is, like, relatively plague free at this point, but there's still a bunch of fucking undead and shit around everywhere. Yeah. yeah they have to enter the mist and they have to go. However, they probably have a bunch of holy magic and shit. Well, here's the thing, though it's weakened. Yeah. This is true. So instead of being killed by the level 9 clerics, we're going to be killed by level 2 clerics. We're not going to be killed by them. I ain't getting killed by nobody. I mean, Vicious a demon. She's going to have an innate disadvantage against holy based magic since right from the. Yeah. I might, have to, I might have to rethink one of my attacks that I can do on them, but it still would be funny to hit them with the shit. See, the problem is, I have a vulnerability to holy weapon. Oh. Oh. Oh, then you don't want to be near Cozy. <laughs> mm -mm. So, <laughs> it's the cost of being a demon. So, I don't know if you've heard One of y'all's getting hasted, and then my the rest of my spell slots are being spent on probably oh, Pelican. please one. haste Cozy. Honestly, I could probably just use my spell slots on hasting all three of y'all, and then... Just spam, I don't know, Vicious Mockery yeah. and Ray of Frost. Like, Dynix, um, Hasting Cozy, Flurry of Blows. It's... You really should not haste, Kelly. Hi. I mean, listen... I can only cast a spell a turn. Well, if you Yeah, but you can also still cast a cantrip. I only have one damage in cantrip. Same, I've got like three. 
if you haste Visha, um, she can use her absolute obliteration strike or a certain death sword um, twice and instead of just once per turn. Um, Actually, I'm just script. Also, I'm going to shoot the Pope with the Disintegrate. Holy shit! No, I can definitely use certain death strike twice per turn if I just if I attack, because. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, get cozy in the middle of a group of enemies. So what you're saying is grab cozy, dimension door into the middle of a group, and then fly 30 feet up. Because if I'm in the middle of it, every enemy within 10 feet of me is going to have to make a deck save upon activation of an ability. Ugh. Hmm. Like, that's just me activating it. Hmm. They're going to have to make a deck save. I'm, and I'm gonna pull some anime ball shit if they get close. Cause see, I can put everything I have into either one big attack, or I can do two really big attacks that are slightly less big. I mean, certain, entertaining, so I can actually thing. do stuff like that. I got some scary yeah. shit I can do. I we all shit. have scary things we can do. I don't. I I have. I have Vicious Mockery, Ray of Frost, and Infestation. I Listen. had Shatter, but I swapped that out. Listen, the ability to insult someone to this is a coveted, coveted thing. All right. <laughs> uh, let's see. You're going to see her. Whoa. Yes. Uh, let's see. I'm, I'm wondering where she would be. Hmm. I think she would... Oh, I think it would be nice if she and Ross got to spend some time together. I don't think those two ever hang out. I mean... So they're think... having tea together. Oh, yes, absolutely. Actually, you know, I think they do hang out. It's just that we don't, we hardly ever get to see it. But we get to see yeah. it now. Uh, they're yeah. currently in the tea party room, uh, sharing a lovely chamomile and lavender blend. Ah. Mm. Oh, hi, Cozy. Hey there. How's it going? Oh, it's going awesome. Oh, you gotta try this tea. It's amazing. I'm really not sure what it would do for me, but I, I'll give it a shot. Wait, no, wait! I can't drink it! Hold on! <laughs> I, oh. I, I have some stuff inside of me. I, I, I can't drink it. Oh. Oh. Oh, cool. You, you found some stuff? Cozy wow. is still slightly rectangular. <laughs> that explains the rectangular shape. I just figured you were doing a new, like, uh, you know, fashion thing. It would be weird if he actually would change body type depending on what he swallows, because I... I've always just imagined that, like, when he, when something goes inside of him, it's like a pocket dimension. I figured. I mean, yeah, okay, but I think uh, I also think it's silly that it if silly. you swallow a giant book, but, you become the shape of a book. It is well, silly, but it, I don't want to be the shape of any people I swallow. <laughs> yeah, that'd be kind of weird, and also dangerously veering into vor. Okay, uh, so no, never mind. She doesn't say that. <laughs> Oh, I'm glad your expedition was successful. Ross, we got some couple hundred year old history journal here. Oh my, history. That's rather fascinating. <sighs> How much do you know about Baklava 2? Hmm, I'm afraid I don't know much. I kind of just came here when I was flaying, so, you know, I didn't really take the sights in. But you know about the bitten, right? Oh, uh, yes, it's kind of hard to not know about the pitten. So, what if I told you that this journal is about someone who helped spread that? I'd say they were a cunt. You would be right. They, they, they were lied to by Fearmonger and told to do this. Ah, uh, why does that not surprise me? Well, he didn't really talk to me, he didn't really explain much more after he died or on his deathbed, but <laughs> he made the big mistake of leaving this behind. Ooh. Ah, <laughs> uh, not, not to be scandalous or anything, but let's crack into someone else's diary. Let's, shall we? <laughs> oh boy. Let me get some fucking... Let me, let me get some... There he is. There we go. All right. Uh, do you crack into the beginning, middle, or end of the book? 
Uh, probably where I left off, probably like page two or three. Okay, let's see. Oh, um, I'm, I'm trying to think. What would he have written next in the beginning of the book? His, his home, his, his, his home, home. Ugh, God, that's redundant. Uh, and, you, and you see, like, like, a bunch of pin scratches where he's... His original home is no longer here. I'm afraid I won't get any information that way, so... Uh, I'm going to have to visit the graveyard. Ew, dead bodies. Ew, gross. Oh, my God, yeah, this is very not right. <laughs> oh, hang on a second. I think, I think I found some better music. Hold on. Let's see. I can't hear it. Music? Music? Where'd you go? Oh, it's oh, it's ambience. That's why. Okay. I, I was trying to find a more somber sounding thing that would be more fitting. Hold on. I think there's somber banjo in here somewhere, actually. <laughs> Let's see. I know you're here somewhere, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Where the fuck are you? I've, I have had you before. I know you're fucking here. <laughs> I am, I am mad. I am mad. Damn it. <sighs> oh well, I guess I'll just have to go with fucking, fucking the thing there was before. Anyway, oh well. Uh, you see there's a couple of just random scribbly notes on a couple of pages, uh, and the next one... Hey. I don't know what this has to do with anything, though. I'm more just asking the locals. Hmm. A couple of them actually still remember him. <laughs> ah, the old bats. Wonderful, wonderful. Hopefully I can dredge up a couple of more things. Might have to use magic or perhaps a dream walker pie too. Maybe I can dip into someone's subconscious. That would be lovely. Uh, and a couple pages later. Actually, I think that'd be a great idea. I don't, I don't know if anyone's ever used these to dip into someone's subconscious before. Hmm. Well, it's worth a shot. His brother might be of use. Yes, yes, good. Good. I just have to convince him to actually help me. A couple pages later. Huh. Well, apparently... Apparently his entire bloodline suffers from some sort of curse. And it's not... It wasn't brought on by Fearmonger or anything. It, it's hereditary. Apparently it's... Just the epitome of fear. I I hypothesize that Fearmonger <laughs> must have saw this in their travels and taken advantage of that. It's no surprise. A being that feeds on fear. He's made his presence known as of late. Bastard. A couple pages later. Alright. I must write this down as soon as I can as dreams are quick to fade. I dipped into the subconscious of his brother and found a very odd family history. Well, I suppose not too odd. I mean, given the context and everything. His father was a fisherman, and he specialized in shellfish. Alright, that made sense so far. Apparently, the mother would often make them f shellfish and Sorry. Uh, he's, he's like, he's, he's actually writing out sorry as if he's like making a diet himself. Uh, <laughs> I apologize, future me. The, the details are a bit hazy. It is dream walking after all. Apparently in times of hardship or in times of fear, she would make his favorite dish, which did involve shellfish seeing as they had an abundant supply of such. Hmm. 
I still don't see why he would conflate that with... That's uh, strange. A couple of pages later. I've researched his affliction a bit more. As it turns out, it is it's meant to be a sort of death of the mind. That explains why it's the Raven Queen's bloodline, I suppose. It... it it's the death of logic. <laughs> that, that sounds quite dramatic, but I suppose it makes sense. The more... the more that uh, the mind fixates on a particular concept, the more the logic of it unravels. I suppose, over time... He began to conflate the concept of shellfish with the concept of safety and cleanliness. The concept of not being afraid of things. That's quite stupid, if I have to be completely honest, but I suppose it's not really my thing to understand. I've never had such an affliction in my brain before. How odd. What sort of hell does he go through? What sort of sort of mind must he have that he can connect the concept of shellfish to the <laughs> that's so strange I suppose I understand why he didn't tell me he might have thought I might have scoffed at him I guess he didn't understand the depths of our friendship perhaps he meant more to me than I did him and a couple of pages uh, later I... I have done research into this fear-monger person. Apparently, they... it... I... I don't know. I'm not sure if he's necessarily sentient or not, but... He is... fed off of Todd for so long that he no longer necessarily needs him. He feeds off of the fear of everyone in Baklava. He is... He has extended his reach. I don't know why he won't give Todd back to me. He doesn't need him anymore, the sick bastard. Why does he hold on to him, then? A couple of pages later. He is, in fact, sentient. He is, in fact, cruel. He's... I have spoken to him a few times using the Dreamwalker recipe apparently has some strange grandeur fantasy of giving the world purpose. He sees himself as a sacrificial figure. I don't understand it myself, but say la vie. A couple of pages later. I have, an, I have a hypothesis. I don't know if it's ever something I can ever test. I am growing older, and my research is... I need to protect it. I'm not strong enough to... bring it to fruition. I might put it in that time capsule project a few people have, just to keep it safe. Perhaps someone else will be able to do what I couldn't. Perhaps someone else will be able to use it to save time, but... I truly believe that... Somehow, despite the fact that his power has grown beyond the need for Todd, he is a sort of anchor for him. He was his original host, after all. I believe if there were a cure for what Todd has, some way to break his curse, then Fearmonger himself would also be broken. But I cannot test this. I am a powerless man. My memories are becoming hazy, and I fear that perhaps my own bloodline's curse is setting in. I can no longer remember my father's name. I cannot remember where I was born. Time and memories seem to run together. And for the rest of the book, it is nonsense, basically. It's sentences that make no sense and letters that are out of place. Whatever happened to him 
it messed up his brain. There's more, apparently. More back at that place. I gotta find it. I'm gonna have to go back there at some point. Hmm. I wonder... Would this work on me? And Cozy's gonna reach in and pull out the recipe for the Dreamwalker pies. Oh, shit! Uh, the main ingredient is uh, some of the seeds that you got. Uh, they are colloquially known as the Dreamwalker berries. They themselves don't work unless they are baked into a particular recipe, which you have, and you also have a plant man! Uh, so, yeah, you can easily do this. <laughs> Everything we need is all right here. But according to cake... <laughs> Weird how everything just seems to be falling into place. No, it's pie. God damn it! Oh, I thought that I thought that Dan would make the joke. I'm glad you did. Thank you. <laughs> so, I'm. Let's see. Does anyone else have anything uh, particular that you want to do? Because I think this thing with cozy should be the closing thing. Mm -hmm. Everything else can wait next time. Nice. What say you, Re? Yep. I agree. Vaitir and Visha. I mean, Wahoo! All you things I would want to do besides. I mean, all that can pretty much wait off screen and the rest of that can wait until next time. I mean, we could always plane shift back to the. In, back to the elemental plane of Earth and tell them uh, uh, the job was done and then get our gold. I mean. Yeah, but that's going until next time, too. Yeah, well, I suppose. Plus, I mean, the gold thing's gonna take a while, because, I mean... The, he's definitely the type of person who would wait for the job to be done before he even bothered, because, you know. Alright, everyone. <laughs> okay! Alright, Cozy, looks like... Looks like the viewing eye is gonna stay trained on you. What do you do next? Well... <laughs> so, uh, which one of us had the seeds? Who did have the seeds? Was it, was it Kelly? Yeah. <sighs> you know, Ross? I think if you happen to, you know, bump into Kelly, he'll probably show you the seeds that we found that were there, which are definitely... Definitely the dreamberry seeds. Oh my. I don't know what that is, but it sounds great. It's gonna be exactly what we need for after I find whatever's left behind there. I'm guessing since you told me specifically you want me to, you know He makes a he makes a eating motion. That'd be very useful. Ah, oh, wonderful. If and... you'd like I can just go find him now. Oh, that'd be great. And after we have those dream berries, it's all a matter of making pie. Oh. For safety reasons, we should not let this get out. I have a weird set of friends. And he's gonna go and find <laughs> Kelly. He says, that, he says that with an affectionate tone. <laughs> hey, I'm just happy to have friends. Me too! <laughs> Nice. So, you you kind of have an understanding what I'm about to do, right? Hello. I think you're gonna go in the dream of somebody important. Yeah. I'm gonna see if I can see Todd. Ooh. <clears throat> Just be careful, okay? I mean, that guy in the sky is kind of a kind of a huge dick. Just. Uh, I'm gonna. Is, if it's okay, I'd like to stay next to you, just just in case you start, you know, thrashing around like you're having a nightmare. I can bring you back. I'd like that very much. I'm gonna go get us some pillows and blankets and hot cocoa. Ah, oh, hell yeah! 
Hell yeah! What is Coco? <laughs> uh, the viewing eye blinks, and then uh, it opens back up, and Ross is concentrating, and out from his wrists grow a... Well, they're, they're pretty small. They're about the size of a... Actually, I guess for berries, they're pretty big. They're about the size of a golf ball. That's a big uh, berry. Yeah, mm -hmm. that is a big berry. Like, I realized, wait a second, that's not small at all. That's huge. <laughs> uh, and they are very purple. Uh, and they seem to shimmer. And they're very they're very lovely. Uh, and Ross harvests them from the small bushes. That's what was small. It was the fucking bushes. Silly me. Uh, and he hands them to you. All right, should this be enough? Oh, boy. Hopefully. We can still keep a couple seeds in case we need some more, but, uh... I mean, now that I've eaten them and integrated them into my body, I can just oh. grow them at any time. Well, that is extremely useful. <laughs> Did you forget that's how I work? Actually, I have uh, no idea how you work. You know what? That's fair. There's not exactly a lot of plant people around here. <sighs> yeah, we should but definitely... I mean we should definitely keep a, a bit of, uh, you know... Hush, hush on what these things are able to do because if people figure out that they can start, you know, wandering into other people's dreams, that's gonna create a bunch of chaos. <laughs> that could be, yes. That that's that is uh, th that is traveling play levels of whoo. Yeah. Whoo. So the recipe from here on is honestly pretty simple. It's all a matter of the timing, uh, the dough. Uh, the sugar content, etc. It, it's it's not exact. Like you can be off a couple of pinches. Like it's it's fine. Like you're not gonna fuck up. Like and, and it's like pie. Something. Yeah. Like like you do have to get a couple of things particular, but other than that, mm. eh, it's it's pie. Well, once I find whatever's left behind in those ruins, I think I'm ready to eat some pie. <laughs> nice. You're just gonna save the pie in your tummy? Pretty much. Nice. Alright. <laughs> Is that all? The item storage compartment part of the inside of me and not the I just consume something. <laughs> <laughs> Two tummies. <laughs> alright. Well, what do you do now? Uh, what is that? What is that sound? That is me making a popping noise with my cheeks. Oh, it was, it was very wet. Okay, uh, <laughs> do you have anything else you want to do, Co Jesus, do you have anything else you want to do, Cozy? Uh, pretty much, like, ending the scene on Cozy making his way once again out of Valley Ball and heading back to the ruins himself. Nice. Let me think. I'm trying to think if anything of note would have happened. Hmm. Oh, I know. We we gotta we gotta keep this plot line relevant. Uh I think we, we find the appropriate music. A couple for this. of religious zealots stumble into the shit. <laughs> uh let me see. I think anxiety A ghost wanders by points and goes, ha ha <laughs> Alright. Meanwhile smite them. <laughs> smite them. Meanwhile, in a town that uh, y'all have never visited before, uh, a couple of religious zealots, zealots, whatever, freaks, are setting up shop. Uh, they have brought with them loaves of bread and fish. Things that these people haven't seen for a very long time. Subtle. <laughs> Listen, I, it, it, there are many things I am. Subtle is not one of them. <laughs> um, question, are they only handing them out to non-human? No. Okay. Uh, they say, they're, basically they're saying, come one, come all. Our Lord is gracious, our Lord is kind. And they are, bas like, like the people are like, bless you, bless you, thank you. Oh, thank you. Think nothing of it. Thank our Lord and Savior. Might we tell you the good word of Joshua? And that is where we will end the session for today.
Oh, Lord. <laughs> does anyone have anything to promo before Dan does his thing? <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, let's go first. Dianx, do you have anything? Hello, my wife. <laughs> my wife. Oh. Um. Water. Drink. Yes, drink, drink water. water. And also wine. To be cool like me and Vance here. No. No. no don't, unless you don't unless like you're uh, unless you're under twenty one, then don't drink wine. Or you or, just or, 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 or you don't want to, or you're a recovering alcoholic, or a lot of things really. Yeah, don't. yeah. Drink wine only if you want to. Exactly. Only if and you want to and you're on this Yeah. And in moderate amounts. And in a good state of mind. If you're really cool, you yes. can make it from water. Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Why? Wow, Joshua's doing it. God damn it. <laughs> now that was Jesus. Jesus! What's the difference? You love me, cousin? No, I fucking hate you. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Uh, I think that's. God damn it! Okay, I think that's the last promo. Oh, oh wait, Skull, do you have anything to promo? No, I don't have anything. Okie uh, dokie! You guys, you guys want to see it? Sure. I gotta go. Good night. Oh, bye! Oh, good night! Good night, hype! Uh, night. Hi! <laughs> Alright. We saw Spanos here. I play Fish on the Curse of Todd channel. <laughs> Uh, woo. You can find me on the Final Fantasma channel on YouTube. I play Dice K. <laughs> uh, speaking of Dice K, Dane. Hey there, Dice K Matsumoto from the Final Fantasma game. <laughs> you know, being hard at work at Spirit Agency. Actually, I just got back from my vacation. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm. Uh, so. It's weird now because there's a whole subplot line about vampires, which is not necessary for anyone to be a part of. They're just kind of there. And now they won't be. Now they won't be if if uh, if Daisuke decides to help uh, our our newfound uh, co-worker Xiao Wei in her uh, crazy. Uh, she she is pretty much genocide to all vampires. Yes, yes. And she also suspects anyone's a vampire upon meeting them. I'm like Dice I'm not, Gay. I'm not gay, but a vampire hating lady is a vampire hating lady. She also th currently thinks Dice Gay is a vampire. Oh bless. It's because she thinks everyone's a vampire when she first meets them. Oh, bless her paranoid ass. All right, keep going, bud. And you can always also find me as Grifter and Bugs X Bones. Uh, things are getting even more tense in that one because just when we think we're uh, we're out of the thick of it and we're on, we're in the home stretch, well, then sometimes uh, a Yeti shows up and throws a rock at you. <laughs> <laughs> it, it just be like that sometimes. Yeah. That's the least of my concerns currently in that campaign. And you can also what, see me as Sheena Pareto in Digimon Knighthood. <laughs> it's the baby. Oh. Yeah. Boy, he's got it bad now currently. Do! <laughs> please, please be kind to my boy. It's a night. He's just a baby. Currently, uh, it's like, hey, Sheena, what's your story plot so far? Nightmare or Digi Street. Please help him. Please. <laughs> he please can really use it. Him. I want to give him a hug. He could really use it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. But yeah, you can find us uh, all on the Pop and Desmond YouTube channel. Yay! Fuck yeah. And once more, I'm schmoogin', but not for long. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.